Hey everybody, welcome back to the stream and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing some live coaching today. Um, we've got some announcements and stuff to kind of talk about regarding all the coaching and stuff. So I'm pretty pumped about today's stream. Today's stream is going to be very, very educational. Uh, it's going to be dedicated to providing you tips, things to really help you get better at Apex Legends. And we're going to do it live with a few participants who signed up for coaching. So I want to talk about that in just a second. Give me a second. I just want to make sure I change some settings to see if it would look better on mobile. And I want to make sure that those things are working. And then we have our first guest who's coming in on today. And I got some exciting stuff to talk about it for sure. One second. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm just making sure that mobile is working with some of these settings that I changed. I'm just trying to see if it works. Hey, everybody, Brian, Logan, Zeph, Harry, uh, Outlaws, Shrewski. It's good to see everybody. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. I'm pretty pumped for today. Let's see here. Does this work? This should. Also, be sure to leave a like because it helps other people find the stream for what we're doing today. Okay, I think that, that looks good. Yeah, it looks like it's working, I think. At least it looks like it. Yeah, I don't see any issues on the mobile. Hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully it stays that way. Um, if you guys have any issues on mobile, just let me know. Let's see if I do the highest quality. I think they made an update, so I think it should be okay. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, I'm just checking. Okay, some announcements that I want to do regarding the coaching. Uh, okay, Kathel, what's up, man? Good meme, good meme. Um, is that all the coaching that I do going forward is going to be free. So the people who paid for the coaching lessons for today, I'm actually reimbursing as well. Um, I'm giving them back their money. Even though they signed up and they're going to be coached for today, um, I'm giving back their money because I, I thought long and hard about this, about doing the coaching going forward. And they don't even know I'm refunding them yet. So it'll be an exciting part for them on stream just to kind of know what's going on and I, I'm pretty pumped about it as well and the reason why originally I put a price tag on the coaching is because I wanted everyone to kind of get a it's hard because we had to kind of weed up maybe people who were trolls people who were maybe not really in it to really improve and trying to find people who were actually serious about the coaching and then also to get people um, also passionate and not like I don't know the lack for a better word just like know that this is like a dedicated i guess experience can you play without stretch res i really like playing stretch res and i i know that it's probably easier in the eyes and i apologize for that um but i like playing stretch res because I'm, I'm i'm a loser i'm a weirdo um so yeah all the coaching going forward i'm gonna put like a sign up and it's gonna be first come first serve and it's gonna be random uh, most likely it's gonna be done through player base this was brought to you by player base um the coaching that you're seeing for today i think we're gonna do also more coaching that might be sponsored by ea in the future but again, this is my way of giving back to the community. I, I, I don't need money. I don't uh, want money for coaching. I, I make t uh, tips, guides, tutorials, all that stuff because I want to to give back. I mean, that's just, I, I like YouTube. I, li I like doing this stuff and I, I'm really passionate about it. So when I posted it and I saw, it, I know that the comments are the minority, but the reality is it's like, you know what? I don't care that much for even making uh, 30 bucks, 50 bucks on whatever coaching, whatever it is. Uh, player base is actually a coaching platform. Uh, they have a lot of great coaches on it. So definitely, uh, it's where people signed up for the coaching for today's, uh, stream. And so I am, and again, don't forget to leave a like because it really helps people springboard this idea. Do they like seeing coaching live? Um, I don't really do coaching off stream. I do it within the discord on occasion. But that's on occasion whenever I'm kind of bored and stuff. Because, again, I want to make video content for you guys. I want you guys to learn. I want this to be a community thing. I want everyone to kind of benefit from it. So let's get started. We do have – we have two people. We actually have three people signed up, but one of them hasn't responded yet, um, even though they signed up and technically they did pay. I mean, I guess it'll be a surprise when he's like, hey, it's free now. So I guarantee everyone who's going to be coached today is going to be super pumped. Um, I think only two confirmed. Uh, one de definitely signed up. Um, but I, again, I, I know uh, it's. I, I made the post, and a lot of you guys uh, were really excited all, overall about it. And I think the only downside is I'm just not going to be able to get to everybody. 
that's the only downside about this kind of stuff with coaching and then the fact that it's only going to be live on stream i'm not going to do coaching off stream unless i'm just bored in the middle of the night which i have done in the discord and just started coaching people just for fun you know so i just that's the kind of guy i am that's what i like doing so i want to stay consistent with it Everyone's going to learn so much from today's stream. Um, ask questions in chat. The format for the coaching is going to be 30 minutes in the test range, 30 minutes in game. Probably go a little longer with our first person and maybe even longer with the second person as well. Um, just because I don't really care about time constraints too much. All right, let's see here. Uh, I'm about to give him a call in just a second. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna link the. Uh, I'm gonna make the community post. I'm gonna post this in Discord. Be sure to leave a like, guys, because uh, it's how people find the stream. Uh, let's post this here. And again, the, the backlash is very minor. But when I think about it, I'm kind of like, I don't even want to have to deal with anything. Coaching and like helping people improve is supposed to be a really positive thing, not a negative. So that's that's kind of why I'm like. I don't want to have to deal with people because I I don't deal with people in terms of YouTube for that kind of stuff. I do this because I really enjoy it and I don't want people to ruin my uh, my fun in a selfish way. I don't mind admitting when stuff is selfish because I really enjoy coaching. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see here. Let me call. So we have the first person uh, is Bike Wrecker. He signed up. Uh, he has no idea that he's about to get a full refund on this. So he's probably going to be super excited. Let's give him a call. I think I have him added already. There he is. I want to shoot him an invite. Hey. Yo, what's up, dude? Not, uh, not much. I don't know. <laughs> I'm right. excited for this uh, session. So the first exciting news, first and foremost, is that this session is going to be free, bro. I'm going to give you a oh. refund on it. Oh, thanks, I man. You, you don't have to do that. No, no, trust me. I thought long and hard about this coaching stuff. Um, I, I, my, my thought process behind all of it was to avoid... Uh, I guess, you know, trolls coming in, people who don't take it serious and then trying to give people a priority. Um, I saw some people make a lot of comments. It was a minority, but I was like, you know what? I've always kind of done this stuff for free and I want to continue to do it for free. Um, so you definitely lucked out in terms of being able to sign up and just kind of getting in on it for free. So that's a huge dub. So let's get into it. Let's do some coaching. Let's, let's, uh, I promise no matter what, you're going to step away from this and you are going to improve and get better. Um, okay, sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think you, you know, you're really good at doing this stuff. Like I, I've watched a lot of your videos and, and I watch a lot of your content and I feel like even if you're good at something, it's so much harder to like also teach it, you know? Oh yeah. I was like, uh, I was a math tutor in college for a little bit. And like, even if I, you know, could do the math, like tr trying to teach other people how to do it was like so hard. So exactly. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I think, you know, if you, if you want to charge for it, I think that that's totally reasonable. I mean, you know, this is like your job, right? Oh, uh, well, I kind of do it for fun, believe it or not. My day job is actually working for uh, for Soar Gaming. Uh, that's my day job, technically. I, I wear okay. many hats in the industry, so I try to like, I don't know, my goal isn't, my goal is never money. And so I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I try not to overcomplicate it by, you know, saying, okay, this is how I get paid. So I always have multiple sources of, of revenue just to kind of simplify it. Uh, so that FYI, pick up a Wingman Gold Mag, any site you want, R99 Gold uh, Mag on it, any site you like. On the R99, don't have a barrel stabilizer and don't have a standard stock either. Okay, sounds good. Uh, where is... Oh, no, barrel stabilizer and... I'm just going to grab HCOGS. Yep. Okay. All right, so we're going to meet over by the infamous little box over here. Um, here. Let's okay. both load out as Wraith just to make it uh, consistent so it's fair. All right, we'll go over. Okay, so this is going to be about 30 minutes here in the test range. Okay. Might be a little longer than an hour. I mean, I, the, the other person I have is scheduled for two, and I had another person sign up too, but they never they didn't lock down a time. So our goal here, we're going to do a 1v1 around the box. You can use whatever weapon between the wingman and the R99. I just kind of need to get a feel for your play style, how you play, what you do, um, and I'm just okay. going to kind of assess from there. So if you win, remember, this is low stress, you know, like... Uh, if you win, awesome. If I win, doesn't matter either way. So don't worry about how well you're playing. Um, that's the goal is to improve. Um, and trust me, I do a lot of one v ones. I get addicted to this kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Hey, Lena. Okay, cool. I, I just saw somebody in chat. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, you're good. 
I uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever done like a one v one in the firing range before. You're good. So this is going to be a lot of good practice. I'll be able to identify a lot of stuff. So we're going to do five of these, and just be sure to switch legends back and forth because uh, that's the fastest way to to heal. Did you you grab the gold? Okay, you grabbed all that the right stuff. Perfect. Oh, I accidentally grabbed a purple heavy mag, but that's all right. All right. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh. Right. Go again. Enemy down. Should I self res? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just right. switch legends just back and forth. Okay, ready? Okay. Yep. Three, two, one, go. I'm taking shots. Go again. Man, I can't even break your shields. <laughs> hey, you're good. You're good. Trust. Trust. Don't, don't even stress. I'm going all out because I, I always make sure when I teach that. I have this as my thought process whenever I teach peeps. I make sure that uh, how would I want to be teached? If I got to play against, a, a, like, let's say I got to play against, I don't know, throw a famous name here like Shroud. I would, I wouldn't mind getting dumpstered against him so many times and have identify what's good and what's bad. So I'm not holding back, and I'm doing that on purpose because it's going to help me identify where your strengths and weaknesses are. So we got three more times. Ready? Okay. Cool. Three, yep. two, one, go. Getting shot at. Okay, we go again. Two more. And I haven't asked you about any sensitivity setting or anything because I'm pretty much going to guess where you're at. Okay. And then you'll tell me and then I'll be able to kind of identify. Ready? Three, yep. two, one, go. I'm taking shots. There you go. Let's go. <gasps> I was like, <laughs> I think I was just like too nervous too. I feel like I'm, I'm doing worse than I normally would. No, you know, that's that's also, I want you to feel that pressure because when you're in a 1v1, like that's the same feeling that you get when let's say you get third partied or you have somebody drop on you and you only have one life left. You know, I mean, you only have one life. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's the same exact feeling that you're, that you're feeling. So it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. It's why this is so great to do live. Ready? Cool. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay, oh, man. so I'm guessing, obviously, your mouse and keyboard, your sensitivity is probably around 14 to maybe 16 inches per 360. Um, go ahead and give me your sensitivity settings just so I know how accurate I am. Um, so I think I'm using 1600 DPI with, uh, what, what is my sense? It's like 0.7 something, uh, 0.8. So I think it's like 1200. Close, okay, you're, you're actually around uh, 13 inches per 360, so 12.7, so not bad. Um, you're... What's interesting is that you actually do better at close range here. Uh, you're pretty smart when playing the box. Uh, you're pretty confident. I would say your current rank probably is, I would say, diamond. Are you diamond rank? No. I, uh, I'm i actually I'm gold one right now. I got to plat last season, then I kind of hit a wall. And uh, okay, I didn't really right. get to play that much. So I, I didn't really get a rank up. But, you know, like the 10 or so games I did play in plat, I, uh, I would just basically just bottom up plat. You, you can easily get to, to diamond. I think it's going to come down to more decision making. Your 1v1s aren't aren't bad. We're going to do a few things. I'm going to have you wide swing because it seems like that's where you're most confident in. So when I say wide swing, um, what I want you to do after a 3-2-1, wide swing, swing me here on the right. And I'm going to wide swing opposite on the left and we're going to 1v1. Do it first okay. three times with the R99 and then we're going to do it afterwards with the uh, with the R, um, with the wingman, okay? Okay, sounds good. Ready? R, R99 first. Three, two, one, go. Okay, we go again. Your your movement is good, FYI. Like your strafing and stuff is pretty solid. So you got you got that uh, down. So that's pretty good. That's why I'm having you wide swing. But I'm trying to see where you fall short in terms of your sprays, and I'm just having you try it with the R nine R ninety nine and the wingman. So let's go again. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Man, this task chase just I throw me off so much. I know. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm doing it on purpose. Because you know, trust me, if you if you can get comfortable with this when you go in game, it's it's gonna be a joke. It'll feel like a meme. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. There you go. You're getting a lot more confident. All right, now this time with the wingman. 
Okay, this one might be a little rough. I feel like the close close engagements with Wingman, I'm like so bad at. We'll we'll see. I'll, we'll we'll see once I'm once I'm done. Ready? Three, two, yep. one, go. <laughs> Alright, that's alright, don't worry. We'll go two more times. Cool. I used to be around a similar sensitivity to what you're using now, so I kinda know what tips to give you pretty much. Okay, cool. Three, two, one, go. There you go, down. nice work. I got a couple lucky hitties there. <laughs> no such thing as luck. It's all skill. Ready? Uh, not yet. All right, now I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. I'm taking shots. Switch into the strafe. I like it. Okay. Enemy down. Um, I would say the biggest thing in terms of controlling your sensitivity is it's, you don't necessarily. Somebody in the chat was saying lower your sense. You don't need to lower it. I think the calmer that you you play, the more shots you're going to land. Okay, I would say you kind, you kind of over flick a little bit. So if you do you do any aim training or anything like that specifically? Uh, yeah, I do uh, Kovac, but yeah. I don't really know what like scenarios to do. I've been doing like the default Apex one. Yeah. But, um, I would focus I, more on small micro movements. You're you're pretty good at you know what's weird. Like you, you need to do two different scenarios. You need to work on your clean 180s and trying to get a 180 movement. Um, and then you need okay. to focus on really small micro adjustments, something like small with tracking left and right. So if I were to tell you to climb up here, here's an example. Let's explore this um, way. We're just going to climb the box in 1v1 right off the rip. And you're going to use the R99, okay? Okay. So go to, go to your uh, box here. Oops. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. So really when it comes to your R99 sprays is it's just really moving less than when you're actually moving. So when I look at your character model, I kind of see you moving around a little bit too much. So I'm going to just keep moving left and right and you're going to keep shooting me over and over again. Okay. So go for it. Well, stand still or? No, well, just whatever comes natural. Okay. Better. See what I mean? Once you kind of slow it down, I know like now you can predict it. You're kind of a... Uh, I know it's live, and that's the whole purpose. If you're playing, like, the nerves kind of kick in, right? So essentially, yeah. the way you should practice is doing those really small micro movement scenarios with, uh, I guess you could play like music in the background or whatever. And the other thing that I noticed with with your movement, especially whenever I flew over you and you get a little bit uh, wigged out, is uh, uh -huh. your 180. When you do a clean 180 movement, to settle your mouse down as quick as possible. So there's okay. a, few, a few things I'll give you in terms of aim lab to kind of work on that. And okay. really help you improve it. That's, and I think after like a week, you'll probably notice some pretty big gains and differences on it, just because you know what to focus on. I would focus less on like there's a lot of scenarios that work on like the broad movement within mm -hmm. like your 90 degree cone, right? Yeah. And your 90 degree cone, I, I can tell is what you focus on a lot. But you got to focus on the 180s, and you got to fo focus on the small adjustments. Those are the things that you got to focus on. So I would avoid the scenarios that are the 90 de degree cone in front of you, such so as like flicking to a target. Let's say for, here's an example. Let's say I was shooting here, and I need to hit here, 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 here. You know, like flicking. Uh -huh. You got that down, like. In general, you can hit these targets just fine, like just looking back and forth. It's if I were to tell you to hit a target that was moving, that was really small and controlling that movement, or if I said a target's behind you now and then start shooting and settle your aim down, right? Yeah, that I, I can tell I, I don't do a clean 180. It's like either too much or too little. Yeah, and, and it's it, it, it goes with it's two parts. Because when you do the clean 180, the problem that you run into is you have to settle and instantly have a nice, clean, smooth track on an opponent. And a lot of the times, like this box movement that we're doing right here is pretty much what's going to happen at Apex. So if you have like, oh, there's a tap straight, it runs around and then starts shooting at you, that's a pretty large and broad movement compared to, you know, just aim training and flicking between like, I don't know, 10 targets that are that are just in front of you. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Because you're, you're just basically facing forward and just... Yeah, you know, turning like smaller movements or whatever instead of like completely turning around. Exactly. So we're gonna do we're gonna do the small movements way. and we're just gonna use the wingman right here on this uh this box. Okay. Um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb up and then we're gonna hover like this and we're gonna just try to hit each other with wingman shots. 
Okay. So then it's right just kind of yeah. So you see how it's kind of a small target, and we're gonna do mm -hmm. this probably about I don't know five times until okay. I until I notice that you're starting to land a few more consistent shots. Um, okay. Keep Sounds your good. crosshair steady. Try not to move it as much once you got me locked in. Try to focus on your mouse movement to be like a minimal. You know what I mean? Don't overthink okay. it. Try to just slow it down a little bit. Try to make every single shot actually matter. Um, and then, you know, we're going to, we're going to make it even tougher. I don't do this for a lot of people, but I want you to really slow it down and think about your shots is only shoot one full mag. And once your full mag is done, that's all you're allowed to shoot. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Firing. Being shot at. I downed an enemy. So the beauty of like having this pressure is that you start to deal with what is called aim punch. You know what aim punch is in Apex, right? Uh, it's like when it slows you down. No, that that is a slow effect. But here, I'm gonna show you real quick. So, what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack your HP. All right, there okay. we go. And I want you to ADS with the R99. Okay. When I shoot you and your armor is cracked, I want you to focus on what happens to your recoil. Ready? Okay. Three, yeah. two, one, shoot. All right. I know it's fast, but your recoil starts to bounce dramatically whenever you are flush. So when you're in game, sometimes you're this is what happens to a lot of people whenever they're shooting and you start to panic because it looks like the recoil is like kicking up like like a mule all of a sudden, mm -hmm. right? It's because there is flinch in the game or flinch, aim punch, whatever word you want. Because they call it different things in multiple genres of game and everything. So because of that, you want to make sure that you don't panic and that that movement looks dramatic and there's a lot of visual effects because Apex is known for having a ton of visual clutter. So don't worry yeah. about it. Calm, calm it down and just make sure the movement is still really small, okay? Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Shot at. Oh, I reloaded. I'm so sorry. I, I oh, really... that's right. <laughs> I got it to the groove there. <laughs> it's all good. All right, that was good. That I only had one, one bullet left. I don't, I don't think <laughs> I was going to matter, so. <laughs> no, no, that's good. It's good. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right, you know, I'm I'm going to I'm going to challenge you a little bit more on this. We're going to we're going to go even more long range. You're going to grab yourself a well, let's switch let's guns. Go switch way. your wingman to a to a longbow. Okay. Cuz I really want you to get used to this small movement. I, I want it to really click for you. It's getting there. It's getting there. We're going to grab yourself a longbow, only use iron sights on it. You're going to grab okay. a standard stock, gold mag, whatever you need on it. Even, you know what? Screw it. Put a barrel stabilizer on it if you want to. Grab as much ammo as you can. All right. All right I'm going to stand because I'm just trying to push you to get used to the small movement. I'm going to stand here out in the open Let's and you're going to stand all the way back here on my ping there. And then we're going to 1v1 from a distance and I want you to get used to this movement. And you can see where I'm moving and so you can predict it and the longbow has a pretty decent velocity. Mm -hmm. And I want to get you used to that small movement. Now, what you can do, and this is an alternative, is what you can do is do wide flicks to the target as well. So we'll we'll train that so I can get have you get a feel for that so you can kind of see it, okay? So right okay. now, just kind of focus on the small micro adjustments in terms of like tracking and then just realize how small that movement really is. And what we're going to do is we're going to... We're gonna, do this for three times and then we're going to go right back to that box and i want you to implement that same movement okay all right ready yep three two one go opening fire they spotted me i'm taking shots better Enemy right. down. you see what i mean when i'm talking about that mouse movement how small it actually has to be yeah i yeah also like just trying to relax a little bit more. That's good. Yeah, exactly. And just kind of uh, ease into no. it. We'll just keep doing it. Don't worry. Ready? Three, two, uh, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Oh, we were allowed to reload? Yeah, yeah. Keep shooting. Not hit that last shot. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like I'm. 
the movement getting used to somebody moving from a distance comes with a little bit of predictive um so this time i'm not going to shoot at you i'm just going to stand still and i want you just to kind of see the kick even from just a sniper with like a stock and just keep shooting at me from this distance okay go and take shots go shoot. for it yeah go for it they spotted me i'm taking shots yeah so the the kick does it uh it, it seems like it resets back to where it was pretty much uh, like the kick it really isn't recoil that you're adjusting towards same with the wingman it's so minimal and so small that you don't really have to worry about it. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Keep taking shots, keep going. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm getting worse now. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Getting shot at. There you go. Just kind of reset, kind of take a breather on it. Much better. So even though sniping, there is that slight bit of lead, but try not to overthink the lead. Try to focus on your crosshair being over the target. Like I would say okay. when you're aiming, just even if it's kind of hitting the uh, the the shoulder even just a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay. So just kind of aim for like the shoulder area. Exactly. Like where you, where you think they're going to go, like the far like left or sh right shoulder of where they're gonna go. And of course, that's where the headshot will also be if you aim just a little higher. But for just simplistic sake for today's training, just kind of focus on the the shoulder for now. Ready? Okay, yep. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me, I'm taking shots. There you go. Yeah, Perfect. I feel like I just have to lead it just a little bit. Uh, yeah. Reload. I'm used to using the uh, the Sentinel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, that, now that they put this in the uh, in the care package. All right. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Hop over here closer. Right. And kind of keep that same movement in mind, because I mean, when you're shooting shots from a distance with an iron sight like that, you the mm -hmm. chances of you landing your shot is not going to be, you know, you're not gonna be 100. percent It's it's pretty far. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Okay, ready? We're going to climb this box. And I appreciate everybody in chat. I know you guys are typing a lot. So I appreciate all the fact that you guys are here. Don't forget to leave a like. This is live and we are chilling. Um, so yeah, I will be sure to answer you guys all in a second. All right, ready? All right. We're still using longbows? Yeah, use longbows. Cool. Three, two, one, go. Getting shot at. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> Look at that difference. You see, that's exactly what yeah. we're working on. So... I know long range is like, wow, it's such a, such a big difference. But if you apply that same mindset to your close range and kind of reset it. So essentially you need to warm up and practice beforehand, focusing on the mm -hmm. small movements. And there's another exercise. I'll give you some stuff in aim lab to, cause aim lab is free. Um, okay. in case of those, even in chat, I will, there's like, there's two of them. There's uh, spider shot 180. There is Valorant ascent tracking that has a small movement. There's thin gauntlet. Thin gauntlet is going to be fantastic for you to get used to that small movement. Okay. You focus less on it with, with the sensitivity you're using, you focus less on flicking because you have the speed to back it up because of your sensitivity. Another solution okay. is you could slow down your sensitivity to get smoothness, but you're going to lose that like speed of momentum that you're so used to. Um, okay. And I wouldn't worry too much, much about muscle memory. You can slow down your sensitivity, like just try to drop it by half to get used mm -hmm. to the smooth movement if you want, and then switch it back. That's another way you can practice it and kind of improve. Um, okay. Because after about a week, it should really start to click. Um, let's go grab the, you know, well, let's screw it. Let's just stick with the longbow here, close range. We're going to go around the box. I'm going to focus on your how you handle 1v1 now. Okay. So do whatever you want around the box uh, just to win, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Ready? Are we still using the longbows or? Uh... Whichever, whichever one you want to pull out. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Contact. 
So your movement around the yeah. box, usually when I teach people how to fight in a 1v1 in the close range here, is that they're not very smart about playing the box and what to do. You're actually smart about how to play a box and how to play terrain. It's just knowing how to slow down your control to land more shots. That's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and I think that is like one of my like biggest weaknesses in the game is like when I, you know, I'm like looting, like playing loot simulator and then I finally get into an engagement and I get like all tense and then I just can't aim my, sh I can't land my shots, you know? Yeah, because that's, you've proven that you can land it once you calm down and I get you to calm down, you come over here in the box. It, mm -hmm. you, you can slow it down. You're smart around the box. You know, I'm, I'm trying to play mind games with you. And really when we 1v1 and engage, that's where both of us, you have to land your shots or I have to land your shots. One of one of the two has to happen, but you're smart in your yeah. positioning and you know exactly what to do. It's just a matter of when you pop out, you have to be so sure and already anticipate where the enemy is at. Your confidence is going to confidence is going to build as you can anticipate my movement. But I know it's very overwhelming and sporadic because of tap strafing and everything and how I'm moving to okay. outplay you. But you have to do your best to kind of predict. Um, yeah, that makes sense. And when you get to the higher levels, so you're gonna have to like you know, be able to deal with people that are like tap strafing and stuff too, so. Exactly. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. So make sure when you engage that you have, when you're switching, know when you're going to engage and shoot and when you're not going to engage and shoot. So yeah, if you're so it's like change of weapons there and yeah, I or when you're going like to reload. So when you're engaging, like, let's say you, you engage and you reload right in front of me, try to avoid a reload being in front of somebody. Or okay. if you're going to reset, make a hard commitment to the reset to get away. So an example would be, let's say I took some shots and you see me back up and reposition kind of tap strafe away. Then I go right mm -hmm. back to the encounter with a full mag. Um, just make sure your decisions are a lot more clear because otherwise I'm gonna, an enemy is going to be able to find you out and be like, oh, he's already taking shots and he's reloading in front of me. It's time to push, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Rasheel uh, said, well, tell him to watch Hollow. He does a lot of aim benefit and but, uh, benefiting movement. Hollow's actually trash. I can beat him 1v1. I'm just kidding. Hollow's, <laughs> Hollow's in sore. He's, he's a good dude. Um, Hollow is really great with his, with his movement. I would say... Um, bikes issue has less to do with his movement and knowing once he's committed with his movement about slowing it down to c to connect his shots so like i see him climb up a box and then ready to shoot but it's once you're up here slow it down um i would almost even recommend trying to like lower your sense not right now because i don't want to put you out of too much out of your comfort zone but once you slow okay. it down and then just say okay i'm gonna fight so let's actually um hop up here in a second let's do a hop up and fight 1v1 on the box again just with the r99 only okay okay sounds good ready yep three two one go there you go that that's the spray i'm looking for I'm down. perfect man that's what's up that's literally it. that's like a night and day difference yeah i just gotta like relax and just kind of calm down and focus on hit my shots instead of like trying to do like crazy uh, movement or anything yeah crazy I, movement is is great and all and everything but if you're facing somebody who has good aim then the movement is gonna do you know nothing for you you know what i mean right so you gotta and slow it down causing me to miss all my shots it's not really helping me exactly you want to focus as much damage as humanly possible and as you build confidence then you can reincorporate the movement right back into what you're doing but don't sacrifice damage for moving around just because you know the opponent could just land their shots even if they're at you know i guess lack for a better word absolute dog water then you then they accidentally land a pk shot for 100 100 plus damage you're like well rip so much of the movement you know <laughs> yeah totally all right so climb up and let's keep doing those r99s again ready okay yep. three two one go I didn't mean to drop, but I guess it works That's out right. to throw you off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely did. <laughs> so once you keep doing it, you get a lot more confident with your... I, I, I mean, I already noticed the difference. I, I know it's like mm -hmm. a lot of people don't believe... It. Like I had some people like in the comments saying, well, an hour is not going to make a big difference. If I can point out your flaws within 30 minutes and you can go practice it for a full week, come back and then see a difference, that's what it's about. You don't necessarily need to sit here for three hours and have me repeat the same thing over and over again for you you know what i mean yeah definitely but like you, you can give me like lessons and like things to work on just yeah. like based on the things that i'm not good at 100 and then i can go 
go push, like, you know, go practice those, so. Calm it down, listen to music, focus on big movements into small movements, and then just micro adjustments uh, with your okay. sense. You can, again, lower it to half so you get used to that overall, okay, I have to be smooth. Um, if you can't slow it down, you're gonna have to experiment with lower sensitivities. I used to have the same issue that you're having, so it was kind of it's kind of easy for me to kind of teach you the issues that you're running into, just because it's very similar. Okay, right. cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Now let's go hop in game so I can see what you do in terms of decision making and encounters and stuff. Play whatever legend you want. Uh, I saw that you were Watson before, so I I love Watson. I'll be on Horizon. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Let me. Switch it here, Mr. Trios. Cool. Uh, shell yeah, shocked, I, yeah. I, I use a stretch res. Uh, sorry, one second. Does, oh, no, you're good. Does anyone know of Daz Trains Controller? Yes, because it's all about mechanics, movements, and everything. Uh, if you guys can get to 100 likes, we're almost there. Like, literally almost there. How much it costs for co coaching? It's free. Because uh, Daz streams so late for me. What's up, boss guy? Kachin's good to see you. What's his sense or my sense? Can't hear anything? Uh, oh, wait, never mind. Okay, he's good. I was about to say, like, we're muted the whole time. That'd be crazy. Um, no, we're good. <laughs> when I was unpatient, uh, I just talk. Everyone can talk. Everyone's fine. All right, it looks like this I caught up with awesome everyone. Type questions in chat that you have. We're about to go and I'm about to see his decision making and how we land and what we're doing. Let's get Should it. Should I play this like a ranked game? What's that? Should yeah. I play this like a ranked game? Okay. Um, we'll play it as if you want to win. Okay. So winning could just mean getting as many kills, clutching up, getting into a fight. I just need to see, oh my God, we already reached 103 likes. Let's go, Jesus. Love it, love to see it. That's crazy, I love it. All right, so let's talk, let's see how you handle your decision-making in game. So I wouldn't pa panic too much, um, but I'll just see right off the rip and I'll be able to give you some quick tips and advice. So I know this other person, okay, I'm Jump Master. We're gonna drop. Let's, let's go over here. We're gonna drop Elysium. Sounds good. Probably gonna be hot. Yeah. So where are you gonna drop? Um, it looks like we got a squad like right with us, so I don't know, I guess maybe swing to the right over here. Okay. Hit, hit this part. All right, I'm gonna land in the center right here. I'm gonna grab uh, at least this armor. Here, I'm covering your door. Did you get guns? No. All right. I, I got like two two spots and then neither of them had guns. Okay. So this is good. We at least have lots to talk about, so I like it. All right, nice. Good spray there. That was nice. So, the biggest thing, and you you were pretty, you're, you were dead on at least whenever you landed in terms of where to go for guns and everything. So I just kind of wanted to see what you would do. Uh, mm -hmm. When you land, the idea is to just try to get as fast of a loadout as humanly possible. Um, I'm kind of glad it was a hot drop, just so I could see what you do under pressure in terms of uh, guns and loadout. Good fence on the door, by the way. Um, try to fill up every second with doing something. Um, so whenever you hesitate, even at the door for like two or three seconds, that's two or three seconds, probably too long where you can gotcha. either fence, run away and then reposition or, um, cause if you're at a standstill at the door, all they're going to do is flank you. So you need to fill up every single second with something. Even if you know that you're going to lose, it's perfectly fine. Like if a hot drop, if there's three teams, it's inevitable that it's going to end up becoming a moment where like, well, you could win, you could not win, depending on what you what you have in your inventory. Try to go for where you believe and you know 100% where gun is going to be. Um, so an example, I land a center because I know that there's gonna be armor and a gun located there. Uh, within the building, there's most likely gonna be a gun towards the far right rather than the pillboxes. So if you know okay. where you can guarantee that there is a gun, always go for the gun as a priority. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and yeah, then, I haven't landed there too often. Um, but I, I was just worried about landing in the middle because um, I, I figured there would be teams on like every side and I'd just get like pinched. That's mostly going to happen. Um, you, it, it's going to be RNG. Sometimes they'll loot in the center and they'll run. You never really know what is going to happen. So you kind of mm -hmm. have to just play the odds. Where can I get a gun and where can I get armor? If you know the center is going to have purple and it's going to have a weapon, well, that's going to be your highest probability for success. 
Um, even okay. if you know you're going to absolutely absolutely be pinched because you don't know if the teams around you are going to funnel in a different area, if they're going to panic and run. But if you, there is a high tier loot building, you need to take the high tier loot building. So an example, this building always has guns in it. So there's guns right there. There's an RE45. Even if there's teams all around, you need to prioritize making sure, okay, how can I ensure that I run out of this building with a weapon? There's a Debo right there. I'm dropping the energy. Oh. So then you put yourself at a as high of a success rate as possible. It's cracked. Nice. I'm gonna push up on him. Who did you crack, Wraith? Uh, I didn't see. Okay. Like there. She's got oh, stars in there. I hit Wraith for just a little bit. Nading on top. He knocked him. Nice. 50 uh, on Octane. I'm gonna bat real quick. Alright, I'm pushing up. Here, I got your back. Nice. Uh, race slow. And he's dead. Nice, good job, Resin. Nice. There you go. See how we were already increased our probability of just like getting out of that? You got guns, we were pinched by... Honestly, I don't even know if this is one team or two. Kind of lost count, to be honest. From the way they were acting, it seems like it was two people. I know the biggest thing is like panicking with Loot Simulator, but if there's any way you can increase your workflow in terms of looting, try to prioritize that best you can. So what I mean by that is always know what you're going to look for and what you need so that you're not wasting time in the box. Okay, that makes sense. So like just like initially just only, you know, just get a weapon as fast as possible. Yep. And then... It can be a little more choosy later. Yeah, we'll talk about it in a second after this fight. Okay. Switch ammo types here. They're getting third. Let's push height, height on me. Yep. And now we have height. RC, nice. Over here on my ping. Uh, the flesh inside. Nice. 41 on Ray. Crack bang. Okay, I'm gonna move up on this. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're, they're super low. Yep, nading the door. I'm gonna flank. Okay. Need the resin. 50 ray, 60 ray. Classic flush. Knocked him. Oh my god, I can't see. Thanks, Smoke is crazy. Yeah. We're getting thirded. Yeah. Crack one, use my key if you need to. Yeah, oh no, I'm gonna die. Alright, I'm gonna. Use it to get out though. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. I'm gonna back up just a little bit, reposition with you. Stick res. Oh, it's just a wee scratch I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this, but I'm gonna try. Shoot. Back up, back up, back up. Alright, I got 32 on this guy. Right, I'm gonna sell. Uh, yeah, he's pushing you. He's... Oh, I might die. Yeah, he's coming in. Oh, let's go. That was good. So much better, though. So much better. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we pretty much won that fight. We pushed in. We just got thirded. So all we could have done is just clean it up a little faster. But, I mean, that became, I don't know, there was a whole other team on it. So there's nothing really disappointing about that fight besides saying, hey, do we disengage? And if you're playing ranked, then we can just hard disengage, you know, if you're, if you're panicking, yeah, totally. panicking about, like, what's my RP? Like, what am I getting out of it? So essentially, whenever you're in a fight, and you're looting, what you need to focus most on is if you get a knock, you can go for an armor swap, right? If you need ammo, mm -hmm. then of course, you know, prioritize ammo right after. But your armor should be the biggest priority because remember, we talked about flinch and aim punch, right? So yeah. you want to avoid that as much as possible and keep momentum in the fight as much as possible. Don't worry about attachments. Attachments are like at the bottom of the list of what you should be concerned about. Focus on the health, okay. focus on keeping in the engagement, and then whenever you're done, if you know the weapons you have and the attachments that you need, don't window shop. Know what your favorite yeah. loadout already is and kind of stick with it for the round. And don't just get distracted and say, ooh, piece of candy, because those three or four seconds are going to make the difference between a third party showing up versus you winning or losing an encounter. Okay, that makes sense. 
Yeah, I do notice because like I'll record myself playing and then I'll go back and I just like spend so much time looting. I really gotta get better at that. All right, we're gonna land a. I wonder if this will be safe. Let's see here. Looks like we got think, two squads with us. Think of it like speed running, right? Mm -hmm. When you're speed running an area, are these guys gonna land on us. They might land on us. Um, I'm gonna land on this part right here. Okay, come on here. You just have to think about speed looting, and once you have guns, you literally, within a few minutes of dropping, can say, I can fight. Okay. That should be the thought process that they're underneath. I'm going to push him. Yep. I shot him. Right, he's dead. Nice. If you have time, sometimes it's good to grief. The reason why it's good to grief is because you know it's an armor swap available for you. So okay. I'm moving up on it. Yeah. This guy's I not shooting at me SMGs. yet, which I'm kind of surprised about. What's he doing? He's running on the open. I don't know what he's doing. There's one in here. I can hear him. Yep, I hear him. Nice, good job. Him. I think the Octane is probably going back for the res. So you went this way. Yeah, he's way over there. Yep. Oh, I should have taken this zip. I think he's going up. Dead. Got him. Nice. But you see how we drop it instantly? It's like, okay, I know where loot is. We know it's in the top floor. We know it's the bottom floor. Within the drop, whatever gun you got, it should be like, okay, let me run to my teammate and let's fight, you know, for the 50-50. Because that, that, the, that team isn't prepared. They, they're not there for each other. They're spread out. They're panicking. They don't have guns. And you want to avoid the panic, you know? And then once yeah, we've cleaned up, now we can take our time and, and loot, you know? But at the start, it should be... Can I, how, many, how many weapons can I grab immediately and how fast can I get into the engagement? That should be your co core focus. Um, and the reason I'm, you know, I, I think that coaching alongside somebody like this is kind of say, okay, this is the speed and momentum and the pacing that you want to be at, you know? Yeah, for sure. If you, I, uh, I, yeah, I feel like I like my goal before was just to like loot as long as possible until I'm forced to fight, which exactly. I don't think it's really. Um, Cause I mean, you can be efficient, but let's say like, Let's give an example. Let's say you land in this building, right? Oh, you can follow my mm -hmm. path just as an example. You say, okay, there's a gun here on the right. There's a gun. There's always a like gun left and right. Then you hit the two pillboxes mm -hmm. right here. Within that, you should have more than enough to fight. And if another team was over here, they would probably be fighting uh, on the big building or the one right here. Then you hit this pillbox, pillbox, pillbox. If you don't want to fight out in the open, then you loot right in the middle of this building here. There's going to be probably a gun on the left. Maybe not. Maybe some ammo. And then you loot the big building up here. And within... Now, even as we talk through it, that was probably like, what, 25 seconds? As you kind of look through in window shop or whatever you're looking for, you climb up. Mm -hmm. This whole area that we just went through up top is all looted within 30 seconds. So if yeah. you can speed up your, your window shopping that fast, it's kind of like, oh, I, 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 I did it. You know, we're, we're in and out. Like, we're, we're done, you know? Yeah, totally. Plus, you know, you can have a good chance of getting the drop on somebody who uh, is, like, still focused on looting. Exactly, because most people take way too long to loot at the start. Um, pretty much if you keep this momentum, even within Diamond, this will help you avoid getting third party, but also help you stay prepared in a fight. Um, the issue that, oh, team right here on the left. This is what I'm talking about. We're pretty much kitted, so we can fight. Oh, he's talented. Hold on. I need a bat real quick, and then I'm going to push into the fight. Yep. You're good to push. You're good to take different angles. Good ult, good ult. I'm gonna swing left. Man, I have all short range guns. Lifeline flash on me. Got her. Backing up. Nice. Uh, crack the one over here. I'm queuing up. Nice, good shots. Let's go. See? Nice. So even if a team is over here, that's where you build like, okay, well, psh, we have everything we need. So just be sure your loadout that you always have like some sort of weapon mid range and something long range, um, just in case. I mean, of course, if you're gonna play both short range, just make sure that you play really aggressively. You know, like what do you what do you got yeah. right now? Uh, I've got a R99 and a Peacekeeper. <laughs> okay, I mean, if you have really this is where this is why you got to focus on that uh, that recoil control. Because technically, you can beam somebody with an R99 from, let's say, if you look at me right now, from this distance. Like this, is, this is a solid distance even for the R99. If, uh -huh. you, if you control it and just make sure the movement is really fine, um, so then you can kind of manage it. 
because so like I know people think okay R99 SMG you can't really use a long range but you you realistically can um, it may not uh -huh. be as easy for some but with enough practice um, any gun will become easy so if you can master the R99 at that range like go into the test range and then shoot it from a pretty far distance and just control the recoil for I would say like 15 minutes a day and after a week boom you'll have it for the most part is Daz looking at chat um, I'm trying to balance coaching chat you know I'm, you guys are are really kind of active in the chat and kind of answering questions for me so you guys are being beast and legends so it kind of works out that way uh rampage yeah, yeah rampage is crazy i don't know why people th rampage is so broken all right so i mean at this point we're just waiting for another fight you can third party and do whatever you want to do just focus on rotation focus on going to zone and what i was going to say is that what happens at higher lobbies and i guarantee what's happening to you in gold and you can send me a vod and i can review it is if you see a fight going on there's hesitation and the only issue that i see within your gameplay is uh hesitating because out of fear of like oh am i going to take damage um what's going to happen i'm doing well black hole i'm doing well man um am, am i going to take damage like what's what's going to happen if i push am i going to get knocked you shouldn't really have those fears you should almost go in pretty fearless knowing what the potential outcome could be of the fight i mean if you push okay. and you die i mean it is what it is you know like that just means that you got to land more of your shots like that fight there if we lost I mean, what else can we do? Just land our shots. Like, just get better positioning, retreat when we need to, heal when we need to, kind of duck and mm -hmm. weave. I mean, but you know how to do that. And I've seen you already do it in the test range, so you have nothing to worry about. If you were somebody else, I would tell you, please, for the love of God, just slow it down. For you, I give you the opposite advice. I actually tell you to push harder because you know when to slow it down when you know it's you're unable to move anymore, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I just got to... I think just be more confident and just push in and, and um, be a little bit more relaxed and stuff. Yeah. But it'll, it'll come. I mean, I'm throwing a lot of advice your way, but hopefully you're finding it really helpful. I hate caustic. Yeah. Is it a caustic you bought? The poor Mackie, <laughs> too. What are those, the, the reasons, what reasons can someone be stuck in gold for? You are not equipped for the first fight. You're pushing too slowly. You're rotating too slowly. And, or you're hot dropping too hot. So it's, it could be a multiple reasons. Most of the time it's because you're dropping too hot and you're just not looted up at all. Um, know whenever you drop how to loot. You know, like if we were to like play looting simulator just to speed up, let's say bike, he landed here, there's guns in here, he rotates out, there's a gun here, there's a bin here, he rotates this way, there's, there should be another gun right here, and there should be a bin right there, loots this, loots inside, he should have more than enough resources to go push. I mean, even if you got two Mozambiques or a Mozambique and a P2020, Mozambique kind of slaps now, you know, yeah, honestly. Uh, it does 45 to the chest, so it's not really that bad. Um, you just got to put yourself in a winning situation. Round two, ring I have no idea where the teams are at. I mean, we're like in the center, so we just got to wait. Question, if I choose between a decent gun that is well kitted, my favorite gun that literally has nothing, what is best? How fast are you able to switch weapons? If you can do it within under like three seconds, to say the least, and just like switch attachments, then switch. If you're slow at it, just stick with the gun that's fully kitted. Like, just be you want to rotate and push, right? You can focus on practicing looting at a later time. If you're doing pubs, then yeah, practice on the looting. Or, here's another big yeah, advice. If you want to practice switching guns, do it right now in a box. Let's say you're like, uh, those actually have the same guns that I do currently have. Uh, let's see, what's a good one? Let's switch to the car, car. So you switch, 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 grab, 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 and then you just rotate and go. You know, like, okay, I'm going to go to the rampage. Let me see, there's no attachments for it. I'm going to switch these two because I want the hcog on that or you say you know what i'm gonna switch to the sentinel on now i'm gonna grab that ammo i'm gonna drop switch this because i want that drop that and then just move and rotate you know you got to be like at least pretty sizable in terms of like being smart and what you want to rotate to and guns that you want so you're like oh got a wingman and sentinel oh there's a mastiff switch to mastiff grab the bull grab the backpack switch 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 go and run and then drop the ammo and then get out you know so just as long as you're switching through that pretty quickly and you know what to look for then you don't window shop and you don't stay on the box. So you don't want to stay on the box. Know what to look for and know what the attachments are there instead of saying, Yeah, I'm coming over. Oh, that's not good. Peter dropped. 
I hit him with the ball. I'm, I have 142 on one. Yeah, I'm down below. I'm going to queue up to you in the back over here. Because I have no idea what's going on up there. Did that guy drop on him? Oh, he did. Crap. I went up top. I feel bad. I didn't think they were going to drop on him. Once cracked right here, I'm going to ping. I'm going to drop. I'm going to ult the door. Alright, I'm just going to full send it on this door and then pray. Knock on. Nice. Got one too. I'm going to armor swap off this kid. Oh, we got a third party coming in. Okay. Oh my god, it took too long. I missed the first massive shot. That's what feels bad. Um, you can choose to rotate out or just kind of push in, depending on which one you want to choose. Oh, damn. Full three set. Yeah. <laughs> I, pro I probably should have just ran. Yeah, you're good. I mean, sometimes, like, just leaving your teammates when you know that it's kind of a lost cause isn't a bad thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't think they were going to hard drop on him. I mean, realistically, if that was ranked, I don't know. Well, it depends on the lobby. Um, it's it's kind of hard to gauge like well realistically nobody would drop from height because it's not very smart and then instantly see them drop It's like wait a minute. What? <laughs> yeah, totally. It's like when when people like re-peek you after they're cracked Pretty much you're like why are you re-peeking? You know sometimes like yeah You deal with the RNG of like who like the skill level what you're dealing with mm -hmm. I figured he'd be safe down there and I would have to go protect you because I assume That the team would push the person up top if they saw two people down below but of course, the first thing to do, two people drop literally on top of him instead. And like, I found that fascinating. But, you know, people do crazy stuff, you know? Yeah, definitely. I, I should probably should have, I don't know. Should I just like drop down with you guys? Um, Or push, push forward on the team up top to put pressure. If there was one guy up there, you had a clean 1v1, you knocked him and then immediately drop right on us because you won your one. Yeah. Okay. That's a kind of full commit. You know? Yeah. Because then essentially if you drop immediately uh, after you, you won your one, um, the guy was on me. I didn't do any damage, but at least now you had a 1v1. And then if the third party shows up, well, you either fight him and you figure out what you can do and what you can't do. You know what I mean? It's like there's only so much that you can kind of pray for. But mm -hmm. Or if it was ranked and you're like, well, screw this. I don't really care. And then you just run. You need to run pretty much immediately, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. I, uh... I gotta get better at that. I tend to like try to go in and like save my teammates too too often, <laughs> and then I, I ended up just getting uh, rolled. If you're gonna save them, you have to make the decision to save them faster. And if you're gonna make the decision to leave, make the decision to leave so you can push back in just a second later. So those are the seconds that make a really big difference. Um, mm -hmm. And then you'll be able to decide like, oh, I guess that wasn't uh, that wasn't a good decision, right? But then at least you'll learn that it was a good decision or not a good decision. You know what I mean? You, mm -hmm. Yo, what's up? Is it really me? I guess so, yeah. We were live right now. We're doing coaching. What's up, Ryan? Guys, don't forget to leave a like on the stream. Every little bit helps support. All right, we got like a million people fight night. I'm going to land on this other big building because we need to third fight night pretty quick. Sounds good. But... So then I can kind of assess if... Is there somebody in my building? Yeah, there is. At least I got a rampage. Hello. How's it going, Ray? Bro, she's... Thank God. I was about to say. There's one. Oh, man. It was a uh, solo? Yeah, I guess so. Feels bad. Um, because then you'll be able to assess, like, whenever I look at that, I, like, hard committed to backing up and taking height with you. At least I can look back later and I'm like, ah, I should have stayed down below. Then you can make a pretty firm decision on what works and then what doesn't, you know? Like, if you drop down and then fought, you're like, ah, oh, I guess I should have just ran. You know, at least you'll know for, like, you learn through trial and error through hard decisions. Like, we're thirding right now. This is a hard decision to third. So we're full committing. We're pushing in. We're going to shove. We're going to take the right angles. And then if we... Oh, there's a guy over here on my right. Cracked 100 and something in. Got him dead. Another one inside. Swapping just to push. I'm gonna drop the ult right here and I swap to another armor. Oh, hello, what the heck? Hit him nice. 70. Nice, nice, nice. One over there. Yep, I'm pushing. Oh, that's a beautiful thermite. He had no idea yeah. I was gonna push that. I'm pushing up with you. Nice. 
Oh, I got knocked. Yep, one more. He's low. No, I shouldn't open the door. Uh, ah, I'm sorry, Ryan. I thought you were going to fight. That's all good. GG's, GG's. <laughs> That was still pretty good. That was much better. Uh, we got in a lot of fights. I don't. don't I feel bad. Uh, I shouldn't. I I opened the door because I thought the Pathfinder closed it. You know. Um, yeah. And I thought he was gonna fight, not res. Ryan should not have yeah. res. He should have just continued fighting. But that's okay. It's yeah. Okay. He should have just played by shield. I think. And then. Yeah. He was gonna win that. Like that Pathfinder was pretty low. He literally had that. I but I threw the game for him, which I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I thought the okay. Pathfinder was trying to close the door on on him, and I was like, oh hell no. Like I'm opening this door so I can make sure that he dies. But I guess it is what it is. But you see how um, fast we were in the third party, how we came in to clean up and how close it was. And the, the mm -hmm. mistake at the end there was like, you can you now know what to correct. You're like, should I have res? Should I have wide swung as hard as I did? Um, you know what I mean? Then you can kind of mm -hmm. correct the, the minor changes and the minor adjustments. But this is, this is what I'm talking about all the time to everybody, even chat who's watching. It's like, you can't correct the minor things unless you just kind of full send it and make mistakes, you know? Yeah, definitely. I find that like recording my games is like really helpful too, because I'll watch them back and I'm like, oh, I, sh I definitely should have done this. Or like, you know, it, you get when you're not like in the moment, it's, it's a little easier to get that like reflection. Oh, on, he was trying to armor decisions. swap, not res. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I got it. That sucks. Why is everything E? Everything is E. That's what sucks. I respect it. I respect it. But I feel bad. I totally threw your game because I thought you were already playing the shield. And I thought the Pathfinder was trying to play defensively by closing the door. But GG's Ryan. GG's bro. Yeah, I hate how the characters like stick reses all the time. When you're like trying to open a door or like go into a loot box or something. It's just like, yeah, oh, exactly. yeah, oh, you want a res, right? And you're like, no. <laughs> Definitely been killed by that a few times. Right, we got a million teams here, so same deal. I'm surprised people aren't dropping Phase Driver. Phase Driver is also pretty hot. I guess everyone's also wanting Bonsai. Sometimes oh I drop gosh. Bonsai and nobody drops Bonsai. I don't understand. Mm, let's go with the alternator. I already got a burst weapon. Like, if we know we're over there, then we just got to kind of get involved as soon as possible. Because you essentially can get everything you need out of a few buildings. Maybe you won't get your ideal loadout. Like, I mean, my favorite gun would be, like, I don't know, an R301, a wingman, you know, something along those lines. But, I mean, if I got a triple take an alternator, I should be able to make this work, you know? Mm -hmm. right, let's go over. Let's go say hi. Try to time yourself going forward with drops. Like, and if your teammates are slow, I mean, you can slow it down. Like, if... For, if for some reason like they're just abnormally slow and they're taking their time then you just continue looting and taking your time with them you know but okay. when you get out you should be so kitted that it's like it's ridiculous you know what i mean yeah definitely so just like only only stay back and loot if you have to pretty much but i mean we control it because there's two of us so we can just go rotate now yeah it sounds good we we essentially uh, can dictate the uh the fight, because then Bloodhound essentially is the odd man out. Odd person out. I don't know who if it's a guy or a girl playing Bloodhound right now. And so ends the champion's reign. Alright, they're fighting right here. Spotted what we science folk call a body. To to keep up as Watson. I'm trying to watch you just make sure you're slide jumping and wall bouncing off as much as you can. Because I I played Watson. Yeah, because Cracked. The Gibby. Okay, shoot. 90. Nice, nice. to go. Oh. Here, back up, back up if you can. 80. Watching. Back up. I got your door. Top off if you can. I'm watching for you. Alright, we got our other buddy showing up, so that's good. It's perfect. Oh my god, that thing actually screwed her up. That's unfortunate. Let's go. Nice. Alright, we just bat. Med kit, look for the resources you need. We got like another second at least. Fuck, okay, I need a med kit. Yep, I'm gonna flank. Nice, good stuff. Sweet. If you got armors and we're fighting, try to prioritize the fight instead. Okay. Um, I know like. 
the, the t temptation is to heal up as much as possible. But remember that if there's a 3v2 or you know that you can do damage, it doesn't matter if you're 30 HP, it doesn't matter if you're 200 HP, it's not like it reduces you, the amount of damage you do, right? Yeah. So focus on that as a priority, especially if you know that they're already committed and they're running in. You'll, you will you are pretty much forced to fight, and every second, perhaps, that they wide swing you, you're losing the opportunity on, I guess, essentially surviving, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think I do tend to do that. I tend to just be, like, trying to loot and stuff when I should be focused on fighting. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, my, my health's super low, but I mean, the, the, that makes sense. Like, if you have shields, like, you can at least survive for a little while and Yeah, you have, you have purples, and if we're we're good to fight, you can still pretty much one-mag the person if they miss their shots. And keep in mind, they don't know that you're not flush, right? Mm -hmm. They don't know that, so they may hit you for one shot, go purple, and then retreat, you know? They don't yeah, have the information sense. knowing that you're low on HP. They only see the armor type, and plus they weren't here to see the fight. Uh, we're just doing live coaching right now. We're just live streaming. I mean, on YouTube. So I guess that's going to turn into a video. It's going to turn into a VOD. Alright, let's just rotate. Oh, oh, craft. That works. Slow it down. Uh, yeah, I'm playing stretch yeah. rows. But yeah, from one wants to main to another, focus on your, your movement as the biggest priority. How can you wall bounce as much as possible to get to where you need to go? Because Watson has literally no movement, so... Yeah. Or outs, essentially. Your out is having better movement. Oh, I left my fucking light back. You're good. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so for wall bouncing, like, I pretty much only tap strafe into the wall. Is that like a... Uh... No, like, that, that works. Is... Okay. Is there like a reason like that you should only use like A and D when you hit the wall? Um, whenever you're trying to hit a small object, or an object that's lower profile. Oh, like the sh the shorter ones, yeah. Yeah, because you it's impossible to hit them otherwise. You have to hold like a certain A, a or D movement to be able to kind of mm -hmm. lean towards it, towards uh whatever you're trying to hit. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause, like, if I just try to like do a wall bounce and like just press D. Or whatever, D or A, you know, depending on which direction. I yeah. like cannot stick to the wall. Like I have to tap strafe into it. It's a good way to make sure that you're touching the wall because you want to be immediately looking at the wall whenever you tap strafe because your cursor has to be on the wall whenever you wall bounce off the wall. Okay. So think of it like you're about to shoot the wall. That's a that's a better example. Oh yeah, I gotta thank you for your uh, your wall bouncing video because I uh, <laughs> I watched a few guys and I like it, it just wasn't clicking. And I watched yours and it, it really helped. Hey, that's that's always good to hear. Yeah. Any Valk tips? Um, Valkyrie really benefits when you're playing near a building, meaning like being able to take jetpack height in terms of taking angles in the building. You gotta think of yourself like a Valkyrie, or sorry, a Horizon. You know. Like, she really thrives off of, like, if she was in a fight, even, like, around, let's say, this building right here. I'm going to give an example in terms of Valkyrie. So let's go over to this building. Let's go say hi to this building. Like, if she got into a fight and immediately just flew up and took the angle on an opponent, that's where her strengths are um, in terms of using her jetpack. Or if she got into a fight at the door right here and then immediately flew up and then waited for them to make a mistake and then come back down because it takes longer for anybody else to to climb that same surface that Valkyrie can just immediately jetpack to height. Um, it's harder to use her ultimate in pubs because of her, I guess you could say because of her, uh, everybody has to attach so it takes some coordination, but it is a great way to get you out of a really sticky situation. Um, use her tactical to really bully people behind rocks, especially when they're fighting, or behind boxes. Um, most Valkyries that I see make the big mistake of flying up in the air and like, oh, I'm going to tactical you. And it's like, you're about to get lasered out of the sky. Like, that's like the biggest, the worst mistake I have ever seen Valkyries always make is just take to the sky and think that their tactical is more important than the damage they do behind a box. You know? Yeah. I, uh, I am so bad at Valk. And with Valkyrie, you got to have even uh, better positioning. Um, and not positioning, but better timing with your movement. Because you can wall bounce, but the timing is a lot more difficult to get. Because you got to remember if you tap too much, then you in engage your jetpack, you know? Yeah. 
That's a that's a big problem. What's the top left stats? That's my movement on screen. Black hole, you're heading out. No worries. I appreciate you, buddy. Round Thank you so much for being here. Do you tap strafe after the wall bounce? Yeah, hey, most of the time. The Depends on where I want to go. I'm 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 Remember as Watson to keep placing your fences everywhere like you're doing. Because you never know where they're going to cross. Like, think of like information of who's going to about to third party you. So if we're running mm -hmm. into a building right here, immediately fence up the door That's as you run in. And just kind of get used to that habit. Yeah, it definitely gives you like more of like a, an escape too. Because if yeah. you have to run back through it, like it takes them a little bit longer. Correct. Nice. Marking our surroundings. Looting here. Damn. Hundred, hundred on the uh, oh, nice, good job, Bloodhound. Man. You're good, you're good. Might as well swap. I'm gonna push Bloodhound outside. Oh, he's got a RE45 and a wide swung. My bad. Good fence. Bloodhound's resing, cover the door. I'm batting, and I'm gonna push right back in. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna ult the door. Might as well just reset and heal if they're gonna fight outside like that. Okay. I thought we were getting thirded. In. Uh, they are. They're, they're fighting outside. <laughs> Alright, let's just flank on the outside. If an angle doesn't work, always just try a different, a different approach. I think All they're right. actually rotating on us right now. Yeah. Split uh, damage, 15. One more second, one more second. You're good, you're good. I don't know where he went. He was just here. I think he ran inside? No. I have no idea. Good fence. They came inside. They're on my ping. This could get interesting. Bloodhound's probably like 40 in. Another team on the right. Man, I should not use the car at this range. You'll get used to it. Once you uh, practice in the test range with like the advice I gave, it, it'll click. Ten seconds. Rings closed. Jeez, everyone is just... Uh, you know there was five teams and there's only four now? Like, Even though there was all that chaos, it's still barely anything happened. Oh my god, he's outside. Good. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Okay, here's the 301. Oh, I don't have any fucking ammo for it though. Shoot behind. I am drained. Using a Phoenix kit. My equipment shotted out. Shot nade. I'm covering free, I don't see them not peeking yet. Oh my god, other other side. Come this way, on me, on me, on me. Watch out for nade as you come through. Q up here. Use this. Alright, we'll reposition the height. Nice. Oh my god, so clutch having a rise in. Alright, they're inside. We're gonna begate them on this side over here. Okay. Pop a med kit. Yeah, I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna peek. Okay. Got one. They're all dropping like flies now. Cracked. Nice, moving up. Shoot, I got a bat. Two seconds. Coming back in. Here's somebody with a self revive. Right here. Oh my god. Dude, what? Thank you. I'm gonna swap bombers off this guy and I'm gonna push back in. Oh, he's got self revive, so that's perfect. Coming back in. Oh, shoot. Hello. Oh my god, I don't have any ammo. Can you cover me for a second while I bat? It'll be two seconds. Coming back in, coming back in. Got him. Alright, let's, pu let's push this guy on the right together. Yeah, I need a bat. Okay, you're good. I'll back up then. Okay, ready? Yeah, let's go. 
Just gonna wide swing on the box. Okay. Dead. I think she's gonna suffer back. That one. Let's go. GG's. Good shit. Good stuff, guys. Man, that was <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't even realize that was the last squad. Yeah. Well, they were just in there, just like chaos, you know. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. Be I, hopefully just by like playing at that pace, you, you kind of get a feel for like where you need to push, where you need to hold, kind of paying attention to your teammates' health, and like, okay, we're holding, we're pushing, we're not, we're not pushing, we're rotating. So it's like all those decision makings kind of coming together in one just like. I guess beautiful piece together, you know? Yeah, totally. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. That was I don't know, it's it's way better than like looting the whole game and then like getting in one engagement and like yeah. just dying, you know. Perfect man. Alright, um I think we have somebody else hopping in. Um I'm gonna okay. message him. Let's see here. Uh I don't know if he paid for his slot or not. Sign up prior. I know somebody else is scheduled for two. Um and I guess we're technically over our time at the moment yeah but well yeah thank thank you so much for like for doing this whole lesson and stuff this is awesome um yeah if i could get some like scenarios for like aim training and then just like you know uh things to practice i guess um, yeah i will i'll send it to you over um just shoot me your paypal uh privately in dm so then i can shoot you over the refund for for the session okay sounds good all right um shoot me questions that you have i mean while while i'm kind of in transition uh, would you have any questions or thoughts, any concerns, anything like that? Um, so it seems like like my the the main things that you saw that I need to work on are kind of you know like movement with Watts and like keep, keeping up with my team, and then like also like just like pushing, like slowing down a little bit uh, with my my aim, and um, you know just like being more confident in general. Is, is that about right? Pretty much, yeah. Um, since this is a VOD, at least you can look back and just have a remember about what happened. I know it's just from my POV, but kind of like, at least you have like a record of like what mental notes there were. So, I mean, this VOD is going to live up here forever. Yeah, definitely. And I, I can watch it back and like, uh, and take notes and stuff. So that'll be cool. So again, any questions that you have, just kind of shoot me a message. Um, and I'll and shoot me over a VOD of like a game that you struggled in. So I can kind of give you some quick tips and like what I see from your POV. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, awesome. man. Well, I appreciate the time. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon, all right? Yeah, it sounds good. I, I really appreciate this. Yeah, uh, no worries, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, have a good rest of the stream. All right, you too. All right, bye. All right, I'm going to bring in... Uh, I need to ask him how he pronounces his name. I'm calling him right now. Because technically he did pay. But the thing is that anybody who paid, remember um, to send me your PayPal so I can do a refund because I'm doing these for going forward for free. Yo, what's up, dude? I know you've been in chat before. How do you pronounce your name? Uh, K2 Unknown. K2 One? Okay. Uh, remember... Oh, K2 Unknown. Like, yeah. Oh, K2 Unknown. Oh, it's yeah, Unknown. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm a Papega. That's crazy. <laughs> no worries, man. No worries. I'm literally a Papega. Um, can you add me on... on... I think I already have you. I think we played... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Okay, I gotcha. One time. Okay, let's go hop in. Let's go do uh, some 1v1s in the test range. Let's do this. All right, let's do it. Uh, remember, just keep cursing down to minimum on stream, Copy. just because it's yeah. YouTube. You know, YouTube is super weird, yeah, but I get it. I always, always have to remember. You know, it's not like yeah. the, it's not the biggest deal, but it's just like you know what I mean. Yeah, Good I old tell YouTube. myself that as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, chat. Do you have a video on recoil? Yeah, I have re like a recoil control video. Okay, so grab yourself a wingman, grab yourself an R99, and we're gonna do the infamous little thing around the box, and then we're gonna figure out your strength and weaknesses. Uh, for about 30 okay. minutes and also after this send me your paypal because um i know that you signed up and paid through player base and everything uh the yeah. signups are going to be going forward through player base but mm -hmm. um doing the sessions uh, as you probably saw from the posting and listing for free oh okay uh, so you'll get a refund all right okay i mean are you sure like i honestly don't mind i i i don't mind either <laughs> <laughs> okay, i, I well, just was uh... thinking a lot about it and like uh, i don't know like there, there, granted, there was a few comments that are like minor, minor things from uh, the community mm. kind of saying like, why would you do this? Like, uh, th this is a ripoff. I'm like, I, I know these sessions improve, help people improve. And realistically, right. I don't do this kind of stuff to, for money. The only reason I did it is because I was trying to make sure the people who signed up, I wasn't getting any like trolls who came in and just like ruin the experience. You know what I mean? It's like of oh, improving because yeah, yeah. like uh, if 
if I know hundreds of people want to join in and do this, then it's like, I'm always going to run into like a bad egg or a bad actor. You know what I mean? So no, it's I like, I was trying to avoid that or give priority to people who really, really wanted Probably. it. Because if I say it's all done random in a first come first serve, it's like, when are you ever going to be able to hop in with it? You know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. Uh, so I guess well, the four piece for today, luckily got the, the benefit of, uh, of getting it early. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put both of them up. Maybe I'll do one where it's paid if like somebody just really, really out of for some reason wants it, I guess, you know, hate actors, yeah, yeah. bad actors, you know, like somebody who commits like a crime that's considered a bad actor, a bad egg. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's an right. it, it's another term of saying somebody who's being dumb, a troll, yeah. you know, it's a nice way. Like, I guess when you're on the news, like we had some bad actors who were involved with this. And it's like, that's, it's somebody who's like a cro like a crook or criminal. All right. My yeah. ultimate is right <laughs> All right. So, uh, switch to Wraith. Let's get, oh, yeah, let's get yeah, on this. Oh, should have done that a long time ago. No, you're good. You're good. Yo, Vigo, what's up, man? It's good to see you, brother. Okay. So we're going to 1v1 around the box. By any means necessary, we're going to do five rounds. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Five rounds of this. Right in front of the box here. Yeah, and then uh, 1v1, however you want to do. Wall bounce, tap strafe, bounce around, jump around. Wide peak, not wide peak. It's all you. Okay, ready? All right. Three, two, one, go. Firing. Okay, four more times. Enemy down. Don't stress, don't worry. I'm, I never go easy during this process because I'm trying to. I'm, I'm literally trying to figure out where your strengths and weaknesses are. Yeah, yeah I got you. Ready? Gotta get warmed up. Yep. Oh, you're good. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. I downed an enemy. That was better. You got yeah, stuff for you, don't worry. Shaking my... My mouse constantly. I always do this. I do this stupid thing where... Whenever I, like, want to aim onto someone, I do, like, this little jiggle and then I aim. It's really bad. Don't, don't even stress me. Trust me. Trust me. That's the whole, it's all part of the process. It's how we get better, right? Exactly right. Ready? Three, mm -hmm. two, one, go. Two more. Mm -hmm. oh, that's gonna be good content for you. <laughs> Ready? All right. Yep. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Oh, Enemy down. I just moved a bit. Cool. All right, one more, and I got a lot of stuff. Yep. Remember, any means necessary, whatever guns, whatever you want to use. Ready? Okay, I'm fine with this, yep. Three, two, one, go. Getting shot at. Okay, so I got stuff for you. Enemy down. All right, All right so the biggest thing, um, you actually have the opposite issue compared to bike. Um, okay. you, I, you're obviously a very aggro player. Um, pretty sure you're on mouse and keyboard, right? Yeah, yeah. Um... I think you're probably running a higher sense. Uh, I almost want to say maybe 10 inches per 360. I could be wrong though. Uh, d d d d What's your see. sense? Right now I'm running 1.4. 1.4. 1. Oh, let me see. 1.4. What's your DPI? DPI? 800. 800. So that is 14. Okay. You're actually a little slower than bike. So it's weird. Okay. So your issue that you have is opposite of, of bike. Bike actually plays the, the box a lot smarter. Um, hmm. you play a lot more confidently knowing when to push. The problem is that whenever somebody puts you in the hot seat and plays a little more patiently than you, then you start to make mistakes. Um, yeah. and you, that's whenever you white swing, you try to find an angle, you try to find an opening. So essentially by me waiting you out is where you start to kind of, to kind of sweat a little bit. That's when you start yeah, to panic. I'm not knowing what to expect. Cause I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking he's first thing he's gonna do is peek at least as peek as soon as possible right yeah exactly 
once the, the longer you wait, I'm like, oh, now I'm just thinking of what else you can do. Essentially, you need to try to to find my mistakes as well. You kind of have to play the mind game. Bike is uh, bike. When if you were to watch the vod, he's good at playing the like the patient and like waiting for for the opening and then finding the angle. And then he it, his problem is that he needs to land the shots once he finds it. Yours is you have to just find the opportunity. You can land your shots. I know you like you've gotten me down really really low and you've almost like like just destroyed me it's just a matter of, like if we climb the box right now let's do let's do this ready climb the box and just use your r99 only okay i want to see oh, let me go pick it up real quick oh you didn't pick up an r99 <laughs> i just picked up a wingman oh my god dude what <laughs> i'll tell because i was just like oh okay wingman but sure i feel like we should do these again then that's fine no nah, no worries all right hey, at least i got to see what your wingman looked like so we're gonna climb up use the r99 Sure. I'm pretty sure you're going to be pretty competent when it comes to landing your shots, but you got to learn to wait for the right moment to fight. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to break that down. When What is the right moment? So, all right, yeah. climb the box. Three, two, one, go. Good. Yeah. Really solid. Like, like pretty much what I, I thought what would happen. I mean, you're... Uh, your recoil control and your shots, even with the wingman, are really, really solid. It just really comes down to when you are peeking, when you are wide swinging, is that the right opportunity for you to maximize on that, right? Because mm. if it's not, then you're going to lose the encounter because you, you try to gamble on it. But it's good that you're trying to gamble on it because you're trying to learn from mistakes. But make sure that every every single one of them is, is a teaching moment. So let's 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 go around the box now that you have the R99. Start with the R99, try to do some damage, and then try to finish off with the wingman every single time, okay? Uh, okay. And you have a gold mag on it, right? Yeah. Okay, and you got your favorite site, whatever site you prefer? I just prefer Iron Slice for this one. Okay. Is that your preferred? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Three, two, mm. one, go. All right. So let's talk about why, Enemy down. while you had a tap strafe and when you're playing at these higher tier lobbies of why it's not going to work. Because I had the box while you had the wide swing, but realize if I have the box and you wide swing at this angle with no entry damage at all, your hitbox mm. is right out in the open. Like you have nowhere to run. I have full advantage. I now have wide control of the fight. So while I know that the ego push is what you believe is going to be the wide angle to really win the fight, if you do not one Magni or you do not do enough damage, you literally hand the encounter to the, your opponent. Okay. So when you're in the kind of that's what you really have to, to have to focus on and to remember. So let's go again with that in mind. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. See, that's a wide swing right there. You did your damage, but. Oh, why did I kick? It's okay. But you see what I mean with the wide swing? You have to know, like, yeah, it's okay wide. It's okay to wide swing with it, like, when you cut the angle, because I just did it to you, but I was so confident mm. that I knew you were going to stand here for me to the land, the, for you, for me to make sure that I 100% know I'm going to land those shots. You have to know when you're going in for that push, can I connect the damage and do I have a way to retreat to go around the box to fight at a yeah. different angle? That's your goal. That's what you need to do. And there's people who do this really well. And I know somebody mentioned Hollow earlier. He's really good at doing a lot of damage and peeking at a whole different angle and then tripping you up. So you can watch any, any even Timmy does it really really well as well i mean any one of the pros they just know how to get in and get out consistently so you know how to get in so i commend you for always pushing and knowing how to get in you just have to make sure if the damage just isn't there how do you get out how do you reset yeah. how do where do you reload because if your reload is doing this here's an example if your reload is doing this you lost yeah exactly you're yeah, not gonna win like it's just not gonna happen you never see timmy flat out wide swing and just like Unless this wide swing is doing a pathy grapple like this and he flies over your head at a million miles yeah. an hour Then swings over and then does damage to you. That is a perfect wide swing That will work if, if you're going for the trip up another perfect wide swing that can work is because you're throwing a lot of distance is going for a wall, a wall bounce right after as I completely mess it up going for a wall bounce then wide swing and then then lasering afterwards But you're incorporating a lot of movement and that movement you better be sure that 100% that you're going to land those shots. Because if you don't, 
you're dead. Yeah. And you, you see it all the time with the pros. They go and they're like, oh, man, I, I whiffed. And like, and if you whiff, that is what it is. And if you're pushing without your team, let's say that you push this box and you push me and then you don't win your one. You do realize that now it's a 3v2, right? Yeah. Especially if they're going to be able to they're going to be able to reset with the battery. So let's go again. Okay, I'm just going to keep pointing these out because this is more or less the issue that you're running into compared to um, other players. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. my gun I fight so I know that's really hard to kind of feel out um, mm. reading an opponent but it will I promise you it will come with time so we're gonna keep doing this because I feel like this is your biggest focus um, you can land your r99 shots and I can prove it just wide swing me here use the r99 and spray right. okay you're gonna wide swing and I'm gonna wide swing um, uh, let's go in a second though and then we did three two one you're doing great, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going more detail the more high level with you because I'm pretty sure that... Um, what rank are you? Uh, D4 right now. Okay, so... Like, I know Bite can reach D, uh, Diamond. I uh, kind of assumed you'd be Diamond or either high level Diamond or, you know, around that. So, your, your, your mistakes when you're playing a Diamond is this. This is why you are not progressing. This is why it feels like... Have you been Masters before? No, this, this is like my second season so far okay. on Diamond. This is why it feels like you're like currently, you're not saying it's permanent, you're currently stuck on Diamond, right? Mm. It's because yeah. of the, these decisions uh, that, that you're making. It doesn't seem like they're big, but these are the encounters that make a big difference from you ranking up and clutching out just a few KP and then moving on to mm. the next fight. Okay? Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I meant the wide swing, but that works. I forgot to twirl my gun. I'm Papega. This time I'm there you go. What I meant to do is white swing just to, to the oh, your okay, left and yeah. my right. All right, go ahead and heal up. Uh, make sure you spin your guns because I totally forgot to spin my gun. I know spinning my gun like... You know what I'm talking about. Where you switch and like it's spinning mid-encounter, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so white swing your that's, left, that's my right. Here. Three, two, right. just R99. R99 only. Yep, yeah, yep. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, see, you got, you got your shot. Just from the full first down. spray, like, I know you have it. Um, I would just kind of balance if you were, if, do you aim train at all? Uh, I do, I, yeah, well, recently I okay. was uh, doing like a lot of aim training. Yeah. I would just kind of keep it as a healthy balance. I don't think there's one area you specifically need to work on, like, at the moment. I think you'll find what you need to work on based on once you get your encounters right. Once you find the engagement, that really works. Right? Yeah, I've always struggled in the close quarter engagements. I've always favored the mid-range yeah. engagements over anything. Because I feel like in close quarters, it's just three times more tracking for me to do. And that's like my weakest. And you, I mean, your tracking's great though, man. It's not bad. Like, it's actually really solid. Like, you, you'll, you'll land your shot. It's just a matter of you getting the right upper hand on the encounter. That's really all it is. And then you'll know after a little bit of time of what's, where it's going to work. All right, ready? Yep. Uh, however way you want to fight around the box. Ready? Three, sure. two, one, go. See the wide swing there. Uh, little yeah. things. Are, it's so little. I know it's frustrating. I know it's frustrating. It's very, very little. It's, on it's it. like a matter of like, I feel so much more comfortable when I have so, like a full view of my enemy rather than yes. like these, you know, these small, small peaks. I always get confident like, okay, he's in the open. I should be able to hit these. But yeah. And, but the unfortunate yeah, part when it comes to fighting in Apex is that you're going to deal with a lot of this. With random, no, not knowing where the third party or any teammates are, it's it's always you're always gonna feel this pressure, yeah. Like quite literally. So I know that it's it's overwhelming, but I promise you, this is the, this is the make and break for you hitting that next level of just me catching you out. And if if you can start to get used to this, let's keep let's keep doing it. Um, it's I know it's so specific, but and then we're gonna hop in game, and I I guarantee I can call out when you make the push, uh, whether yeah. it's gonna work or whether it's not going to work. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Open up. 
Opening fire. I'm taking shots. I can't believe I whiffed. Nice. I've been down. Okay, so where I'm gonna put you in your comfort zone for just a second. Sure. This box right here, here, we're gonna climb up and I'm gonna put you in your comfort zone up here, okay? Alright. Because literally you know I'm gonna appear. And all we're gonna do is just keep strafing left and right right here. But I wanna see, I wanna make sure that I'm right in terms of like your wingman shots. Of you landing them as well as the R99. If 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 I'm incorrect, then we're gonna have to i I'm gonna give you some exercises to work on that too, okay? Alright, so just me standing on this box and uh, no no no, you're gonna be at the uh the oh, tip the of it, box. yeah, like right here. You're gonna climb up afterwards, and I'm gonna climb up here. So it's like perfect mm -hmm. above the waist shots, right? Okay. You can see exactly where I'm at, and you can predict mm -hmm. it, okay? Yep. Ready? Yep. Use uh, whatever guns you feel more comfortable with, okay? Sure. Three, two, one, go. See? Yikes. You got the damage. I mean, I I know that I'm putting a lot of pressure and stuff because of my damage, no, no, but that's... but your shot it, it's it's solid. It's it's you know if, if you had the jump, you'd be able to be pretty solid. Um, mm. To be consistent, we'll use the wingman this time. We're gonna do it three times and do the R99 afterwards. Okay. Sure thing. Okay, wingman first. Three, two, yep. one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Good starting damage. See. It's good. It's, it's really good, dude. That's not bad. Two more times. Sure. All right. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Getting shot. Down to another. Once things become unpredictable or you don't find the pattern, your your initial shot is always really strong. So that's really, really good. Um, I would say afterwards, because like I, you get the cross here right on the target. Um, there are things in aim lab that you can use where it's like a floating target where they kind of keep floating in different random directions You kind of have to oh, get yeah, used yeah. to more reactive um, mm, Overall and any, like any, worst. anything for you is going to be more reactive training You don't have to worry mm. about like long smooth movements. You don't have to worry about micro tracking It seems like you got that down. You got your crosshair once you see them. You're pretty much set man It's just a matter of like what do they do afterwards, right? Okay. Yeah I'm gonna drop uh, use the wingman one more time this time, I'm not going to shoot back. I'm just going to keep moving left and right until you kill me, okay? It's going to be a long one. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Okay, I purposely made that one as hard as possible with randomly that's, that's stopping in random spots. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what's yeah, this? That, this is what makes it. Tough. This is what really makes it frustrating whenever you play at certain ranks. You can be an absolute mm -hmm. god with your aim, right? But you never yeah. know if you're gonna run into somebody who's an absolute bot, right? It's, what if you run yeah. into somebody you think, oh, they're gonna strafe like crazy in front of me, and they just do this? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you're you're like, what is that movement? Like, wh yeah. who am I dealing with? You have to be prepared for whatever's gonna be thrown your way. So. For the next week, I would focus strictly, and I'll give you like a list as well, on reactive mm -hmm. training. Like reactive stuff that you're reacting to a target. It's going to move in a weird pattern. It's going to strafe differently. Once you have a pattern down, you're golden. You don't have to worry about once the pattern is there. You have to worry about when the pattern changes. So let's do the same thing yeah. with the R99. We're going to climb down and we'll crawl back up, okay? All right. All right ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. This way. It's it's solid though. It's pretty I good, man. I'm not, not gonna lie. I know CR99 is not perfect, but it's it's still good though. It is one of the weapons I'm like I, I tend to avoid actually. So anything. This is a weapon uh, that you need to practice with then. Mm. It's got the the fastest recoil. It's got the most kick. If you can master this, every other gun is gonna be a lot easier to use. Okay. Yep. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm taking shots. There you go. You know the the biggest thing. You, you you say this is your worst gun. You hate it. Like imagine if you just put a little bit of time in the test range. And I said the same thing to bike, but his is focusing on micro movement. I would keep mm. focusing it like on you, like 
I told Mike to go Listen, from a distance. I would focus on yours being here with a mid range, then backing up a little bit, then going from uh, this range, mm -hmm. and then getting closer to a different angle, and then controlling it from here, switching it up, and then hitting a different target from over here. And then just keep switching it up on you. Your idea is not to create consistency in terms of like doing the same thing over and over and over again until you memorize it. You're past that. You need to keep switching it up at various angles until you know that you can always land your shots and what you can do with it, right? Another right. thing to create some stability with your aim um, that I would do is pick up the vault uh, real quick as an example. Yep. Kind of getting used to stuff that's a little bit more sporadic and random. What you're going to do is... I've seen as an extra, you hit each of these targets using it with the Volt 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You know, just keep hitting each and every target with one bullet while creating stability. And then doing the same thing but moving at a different angle. There you go, yeah. Oh, just like target yep. switch in between. Yeah, between, but all of them. You're going to hit each and every single one of these targets once. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 22. Uh, oh, and then do it at different good. angles. And then do it standing over here because there is a variable target that's moving but also requires you to have some stability with your shot i know you're really good at the first shot accuracy but the variable that's moving around in the center consistently the left one and the right one is going to help you improve i'm um, getting used to variances so practice it from that platform practice it from Let's this platform this then practice it from this platform and then practice it from this platform and use this as i would say as your warm-up in terms of like target switching and getting used to something that appears out of nowhere because you will literally get used to just shooting at every single angle and over time it'll start to click a little bit more you're learning your uh, click control you're learning um various angles um i haven't really assigned this exercise to anybody i love this exercise a lot personally um but i feel like it's very specific that's going to help you um okay. and then do aim lab like reactive training tasks because i think that's going to be the best thing that really helps you out of anything um and then just try to speed it up you know as you do it mine isn't yeah, perfect so just like uh between just small flicks and micro flicking between each target yep at different angles and try not to the, and try not to double shoot a target try to always have it just be one bullet hmm. and it, it's hard because trust me i i still do this exercise like i like this exercise a lot for myself i'm kind of sharing this one I'm, i haven't even done a video on this exercise and I've seen other people do it, like pros that practice this, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. Like, I sometimes I've sit here for, um, I don't know, probably like 30 minutes at a time just doing this, because it's just it's a lot of fun. And if you really want to add some movement into it, then add some strafes going left and right to it, and it'll really help you kind of find that control that you're looking for that you're missing. Okay, yeah, I could definitely see this working if I actually put more into time into this. So then but whenever I'm, you actually flick to training. somebody, you're not mm. overwhelmed and you, you at least have stability with that shot and you can correct yeah. it. Because uh, with aim training, you're always static. Yep. You're always standing still. So when you add strafing into it, which some scenarios don't really have, it's always uh, feels awkward to move, switch target and so on. I think this is definitely something I'm going to try out a lot more. Yeah, reactive tracking and then doing this scenario across like a wide space, I think would help a lot. Like, and it's different. Like what I'm assigning to you is different because I wouldn't have Bike do that. I want him to focus on, he's actually really good at like, I can tell of like at least controlling his 90 degree cone. Uh, I'm not saying you're not, it's just like his has to do with calming down his hand. So me having him flick everywhere is not going to help calm him down. You know, mm, but yeah. in your sense, I want you to stay really active with what you're aiming and what you're doing, you All know, right. um, and, it, and it'll come in time. Was that an accidental cue? As always. It's okay. You see, this is, this oh. is what I'm talking about in terms of gaining that control and like different variables and variances. It'll, it'll help. Yeah. It'll really, really help you improve. All right. Um, let's go in game and let's do some games together. I'm going to assess kind of like how you loot, what you do. Uh, and your engagements okay. and uh i'll probably be able to call out the same mistakes that you're making here as you are in game so let's go ahead and hop in who's your main uh i don't really stick to one champ i kind of float between bloodhound gibby octane maybe watson i i, I, yeah. I don't really i tend to like fill whatever role my team's missing 
So if we don't have a defense, it's Gibby. We don't have any healing or whatever. That it's makes sense. Lifeline. We don't have any recon, Bloodhound, or Seer. I don't really pick stick to one. Also, I do prefer Octane for the speed but and rotations, but yeah. I would try to stick with one legend so then you can learn how to get in and out of an encounter or like what you need to use. So if it's Wraith, stick with the Wraith, you know? If it's Octane, yeah. stick with Octane or whoever it is. Mainly Bloodhound is what I've just been picking throughout the whole. Fight. Bloodhound's perfect. Bloodhound's a great legend for rank too. Exactly. It's just so much info, which most of my teammates like will not be able to know about if I didn't. True. Also, chat, don't forget to leave a like if you're enjoying anything that we're covering or doing. Um, I think we have one more person still for today, also later at around two. Um, but yeah, leave a like. It helps other people find the stream and uh, learn a lot. I mean, this is this is a it's been a pretty good stream so far. All right, um, land us. No way. Let's get out of the to land over there, darlings. What's that? Got to get out of the ranked mentality. I, I would still keep it. Always uh, practice. Think? Practice how you pre uh, how you play or practice what you preach. The same, whatever the saying is. Mm, if you play yeah. pubs differently, you're only going to build bad habits. You know. Yeah. We do this. So if like if you're gonna claim a spot in ranked, if it's gonna be energy depot, then play smart, you know? Play smart so it's consistent. You don't wanna just play ranked and just make a lot of bad mistakes. Cause then you make no. the same mistakes that I saw um, there as well. And uh when we're one v one ing. I'm gonna scan front. Yeah, I got one down over here. Nice. There's five guys east of us. Okay. Box here. I don't know what he had though. Recharging my shield. Take fight here. Reloading. Fighting down there. Okay. I'm with you. One front. Coming. Hit bomb 63 white. Flash 63 on it. Oh, her thing fell. Her bracelet. I'm pushing it. Down. Nice. Good job. There's one more in there, I think. Yep. Tracked him. Scan nice, good job. Good scan. Two more guys. Shields recharging. And that was recharging shield. One on me. Yeah, coming up, coming up. I thought you I thought he came down and dropped and shot you. You can win a quick oh wow. I'm here, I'm here. Back up, back up if you need to. Yeah, yeah, back up. He's got a peacekeeper. Nice One dropped here. Yep. He's pushing the Valk. Come back over in a second. Now I'll take your time. Give these uh, running up to the house now. Okay, he's resing. Okay. The shield's recharging. Alright, both are up. He picked up his bloodhound. So just top off, I'll push it in a second. Yeah, yeah. You're playing a lot smarter. I honestly, how you play the box, I honestly would tell you play everything like ranked. Okay. With the same mindset. Everything always plays like ranked. I'll cover in a second. I'm trying to see if one of them will push me and make a mistake, but it doesn't seem like they're going to. They're fighting? No, I can still hear them inside the house. I don't know what this guy's doing. Not sure. He's running. Yeah. Oh, I don't hear anything now. I'll grab some cells. Did he run? I'm confused. All right, well, I got the banners. Oh, the Fort I shouldn't have pushed that bloodhound like that. I mean, I know he hit me, but I kind of got greedy thinking I could. Yeah, damage. think think of it always not to get greedy in the encounter and play it like ranked and play it to where you always guarantee you're going to survive, right? Mm. So when I saw you push in, I called for you to back out. Know before I call for you to back out that you need to back out. Because it's yeah. what any other pro or good player is going to do. If they got PK shot, they're not going to wide swing that and, you know, give it to you. You know what I mean? Like, they're just not. Exactly. Oh, shoot, they came back. 
Oh yeah, they are. Enemy shield. Scan Keep calm, Just trying to find a girl. You're good. Oh no. There's a Wraith. She's low. Wraith down on me. Nice. Just yep. reset and hold. Yeah, I'm We're gonna need scan to back two. up in a second. Nice. Good, good scan. Good scan. I'm throwing a nade over there. Alright. I'm gonna ult the corner. Cracked uh, Gibby. Watch out, there's gonna yeah. be one right on their box. Yeah, yeah. I'm All whites. I'm gonna take an angle on him. Did a lot of damage. Flush. Yep, yeah, push him up. One. I'm gonna use a Phoenix. I'm using a Phoenix kit, pal. Oh, I'll give you up. That's not gonna hit I'm anything. I'm not sure where he did that. They're pushing back. All right, we gonna we gotta push him now. I got my uh, Phoenix off. Go. Let's go, GG's. Nice, nice, nice. Good playing patient on it, though. That, that's that's good. It's just knowing whenever you can push in versus whenever you can't, you know? Yeah, I need to find the balance between that. Definitely. But it's there. I mean, that same way how, how you play in terms of ranked should be the same. Your scans are good. Your, your damage output is good. It just comes from knowing whenever you actually need to completely back out. Because you saw it there, like in terms of even whenever I played patiently, and was just waiting for for somebody to make a mistake. It's that same yeah. feeling, knowing like, okay, I can't do anything. I'm gonna wait for a second until I get the right moment to actually capitalize on this, right? Right. That's that's the make and break difference. It doesn't always pan out. It's because there's RNG with stuff like this always, but at least you have a fighting chance, and that's what you're shooting for. Mm. Oh, well. My FOV, I'm using one of four chat. Oh, we got a lifeline package down there that just dropped. Oh, nice. I didn't mean to queue. Been there before. Right? I literally, that was such a weird. Oh, uh, I see them right here. Well. Yeah, they're over here. Alright, let's go push. Do you have resources? Are you good? Uh, I got one Phoenix, one medkit. Here, I'm gonna drop you two bats. Come over. Yeah. Two. There you go. Thank you. My ultimate is almost ready. Go on an ult and push this. The perfect time to ult. Yeah. Got 92 on my ult. One on the left is cracked. If you have ulti, I can uh, throw some nades on it. I don't have ult. There's one over here. Yep. Yeah. 28 blue. Reloading. He's gonna chuck nades. Nice. Reloading. Scanning three. He shielded up. Yep. Still flesh. Moving up. Oh, what is that? flesh. Nice. Enemy down. I'm silenced. Okay. Grab down. Go to bat, bat, bat. Remember to bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you can win these okay, fights, but remember to bat. Team behind. Yep. So when you get cracked like that, you gotta you gotta use your bats. Yep. I know you can I know you can win those fights, trust me. I know you can, but you gotta be able to reset. I need literally heavy. There we go, perfect. Alright, I'm gonna rest. On your feet, yeah, that, that team behind us is a uh, I'm not pushing when they're looking at us. But that second there in terms of batting would, would have been make, make or break or you getting knocked right there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So even though like you you have confidence, you can win fights, I, I know you can. Kind of keep the confidence a bit more in, a, I guess what you call a check. And knowing that, okay, I need to, I know I can win this, but let me bat to make sure that I always guarantee that even if I get thirded, that I'm going to win this, you know? Yeah. So I, when I saw you wide swinging your flush, don't repeat it. Like, just bat. You have bats. I gave you bats before we went into the fight, so use, use your uh, materials, you know? Yeah. Recharging. Now, if we're all wide swinging him, um, let us go first. Kind of know the, how, how to duck and weave between a fight, right? Mm. Pay attention to our health pools and, like, who's going and who's going, who's not going out, you know? If you don't see yeah. us push in, yell for your teammates to, hey, push, push, push. I did a lot of damage. That's whenever you yell, like, within diamond rank, you're playing with randoms. Uh, you'll say, push, I like, push, push, push. Just to scream at them, like, go for it. Go, you, you, we can win, we can win. And then you bat, and then you come in for the cleanup, and then you instantly flick to the third party and do damage to them immediately so then you can clutch out, uh, make sure you don't die to a third party, you know? Yeah. Because otherwise, if one person goes down, it's a 3v2, they're going to push you. 
You know? Mm. I'm gonna give this guy a little bit of heavy. I don't need that much. Yo, V Trigger, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Everyone, again, if you leave a like, it helps people find the stream. We're doing coaching today live on stream. We're having a good time. We're vibing. Uh, we finished one session already. We we're on to our second one. Um, and yeah, that's good stuff. But yeah, it's, it's a little things because uh, you ever you ever play uh, games like Command and Conquer or Warcraft or anything like that? Uh, not really. I think I played Command and Conquer maybe like Total War. Someone These guys are 19 seconds ago. Okay. Um, if we get into a yeah. fight, I'll stop my thought, um, but I'm going to keep talking until then. It's pretty much called CS control. All the units do the same amount of damage, right? So you duck and yeah. weave. So you put one unit forward and then you tell one unit to fall back. The, per right. the, the AI will naturally chase the person who is low HP, right? People yeah. do the same exact thing as bots in, in those games. If somebody does, oh my god, I just destroyed the Bloodhound, and they overextend, that's their mistake. Because they overextended, now there's two people holding the angle and doing damage to them. So it's a, I, forget, I really believe it's crowd control or CS control, whatever word they use for it. It's been a while since I've played like Command and Conquer or any of those games, but or like StarCraft. But it's the same thought yeah. process. If you do a lot of damage, and then let's say you're out, you were kind of peeking this angle here, right? Take a look where I'm at. You do a lot of damage, and instead of pushing forward, you back up. The other person's gonna say, oh my god, I did damage, and they're gonna wanna push forward, right? Yeah. That's where the teammates come in. You know, that's that's area. where it makes a big difference. Burn is a go. Got it. Rings close and it's a good it's a lot to Please direct your attention take to the flight attendant. I know. And don't worry, worry those the VOD so you can kind of look back and stuff, you know? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna land on height right here. Uh, I'm, gonna catch, I'm gonna try to shoot this guy right here, the one that's caught out of rotation. Yeah, I'm gonna land here. Okay. I've got cover here as well. Oh, I whiffed. I feel bad. Uh, Pathfinder goal, 26. Nice. Cracked. Ulting them. Oh, they're pathfinding. Uh, that means that the other ones are Push. late. Got him. Nice. Good stuff. Push. Oh, they ran into another team. That sucks. Alright, we can do one of two things. We can queue up. Let's start queuing up, see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Let's go on this. I'm gonna pop ulti for this. Scanning up. 90 on uh, Horizon. Shoot. Yep. That's a huge nade. That's really unfortunate. Oh no. I got a bat. Cracked one. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I got a bat as well. One's queued back. That means 3v2 push in. I'm batting. I'm batting. Okay, holding. Nice, I gotta, I gotta back up. Batting. Scan whenever you got it. Uh, 10 seconds. There's still one behind here, I think. Moving up, taking an angle. Huge nade. Okay. Alright, let's push up. Crack lifeline, 120 on her. Yep. I think we're getting. Right front, right yeah, front. back up, back up. Nading. I'm just gonna use a phoenix. Take the slow. We'll just wait. These are the last few teams. I need to grab a little more heavy. We see how we're we're really in sync. Oh shoot, he's getting flanked. Yo, flash valve. Okay. Pushing out. We gotta we gotta fight. We gotta save him. Yeah, that. That Valk is probably batting up right now. I don't know where she went. Let's go. Let's go, Rez. Oh, shoot. I screwed up my Q. I screwed up my Q. I'm Pega. It's not good. Oh, yeah. Got her. Nice. Alright, I got a Rez. Scan to just put pressure. Yep. Nice, yeah, they're rezzing too. Might be able to... Yeah, I'm white swinging yeah, with you. Crack. Back up, back up. Yeah, I'm not Just gonna finish their down guy so they don't res. That's fine. Nice, good job. Alright, now we got a little bit of time to reset for just a second. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, I don't know if there was some in this box. Okay, there's a little bit. It's fine. Nice. Alright, I don't know where the last person is. But there you go. You're, you're getting the hang of it already. It's just... 
I know like right now I'm just kind of calling what to do, but I want you to review the VOD to see when I'm telling you to like pull, like when we're telling to pull back, when we're ca calming, like who's batting. It's just a constant just duck and weave, you know? Yeah. And also use your scans to, to as like, it's a scare tactic because it scares people whenever a scan comes out thinking that they're yeah. going to push or something's going to happen. So I know I'm calling for those specific things, but keep those in mind, um, knowing when to scan. Scanning makes the team back up. Notice whenever you scan, I told you to, to use a scan near the building over here, of what it did to that team. They literally gave up positioning and ran over to this other team over here, right? Which was like really dumb of them to, to back up. But the scan makes people scared. It really does. And realistically, what they should be doing is holding their ground. They should not be giving us that much pre like leeway. They're, just, they're literally handing us the game. But if you're going to play Bloodhound, know that those scans put pressure, and there's a reason for every single scan. The scan can be used offensively if somebody's going to res. The scan can be used um, offensively knowing that, okay, we want that positioning. Let's screw them up. It can be used to isolate an enemy team, a teammate, knowing who's the weakest one of the bunch so you know who to isolate. If you see one guy even trailing a little bit behind, you know that guy's the weak one, you know? Yeah. Let's rotate over to the far left. Don't, don't take zip because I don't know if they're just going to fry us up. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a big no-no for me. Oh, last scene on top of the building, so... I'm gonna queue up right here. I'm with you. They're on roof. Scan. Oh, right. Yeah, no, it's good. Good scan, good scan. One drop. Let's see if we can take height back. They scan back inside the building. Right. Fire. Goes. That's you. Yep. I need, a, I need a bat. It's all you for a second. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Yep. Close the door. Oh, shoot. They're actually outside. I'm coming inside. Use my shield, use my shield. They got me stuck in the door. Crack one. You're good. It's just you and the uh, Val. Use my shield. Don't want to have him use my shield. Good try, good try. This guy might clutch it out, we'll see. You should try a different path. No, I fumbled that one. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, that was tight because... Oh, that, I have those two anglers I had to watch out for. If we pushed them together, we would have had the seer caught out. So I know it's yeah. it's it's split decision making, but um, I would need to see where, where specifically you were at positioning-wise in there. You might be able to get it. He's pretty close. Oh. Let's see if he gets it. He got a crack. He's yeah, letting he's good. letting him reset for far too long. You should do something here. Oh, he should Y swing that. That's a one for one. Good try on his part. So when I pushed in, know where your teammates are going, where they're pushing. Um that's gonna help you try to isolate a teammate so it's a two 2v1, 3v2, and so forth. Um, yeah. That's going to help you out a lot in, in rank as well. Um, just kind of sticking with the squad. I know, like, they're fast calls, but the three seconds of being in the building versus isolating somebody or staying outside two seconds too long makes a really, really big difference. Even if you're confident you can win your fight, just sticking with the squad makes really can make and break it, you know? Even if the call is right or wrong, it really doesn't matter. Um, because realistically we could have stayed out and fought the other ones or we could ran inside and fought the other guy. You know, it's just like both of them are viable options. There's not a right or wrong on it. It's just a matter of which one are you going to, are you going to actually act upon? You know, you're right. Yeah. I always do feel like whenever fights do start, I'm always the last one in and I, I it's not because I'm. Maybe it is because I'm just too busy either looting or scanning, but I always do for like, like I'm the last one to a fight. For this one, I'm not going to call out. I'm going to push you to call where we're going. We're going to switch it up a little bit on that, okay? Yeah, okay. I know where we want to be. And it'll, I think it'll help you out.
Mira, check out that giant banner of me. So essentially, I'll just pretty much have you just like shot call. You know what I mean? Yeah, just go for IGL. Yeah. I'm going over there. I Hello. want to be a. Uh, I will join you. Here we go. Just... Ready up. I want to try and be more like decisive, I guess, in telling where people where, where we should go and move. But my game sense is. Uh, yeah, coming over. Reloading. I'm pushing back. Oh, I got shot in the back. Uh, Vox flush. He's low. Nice. One more. Oh, I got shot in the back. There's nothing you can do about that. We dropped really hot. All right, we go again. It was good. Well, once you're in a fight, you're you're good. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to take jump master. We'll land a little safer, and then I'll have you just call pushing in and out of a fight. Sure. Hot drops are just literally full RNG. You just never really know what's gonna happen. Yeah. So I always tend to avoid it. I mean, it's good for like just warming up, getting used to fights, but. Exactly. Um. Somebody said, does positioning rotations matter if you got God tier aim and plat? Positioning and rotation always matters, even if you got God tier aim. That's like having all aim, no brain. You'd rather have all brain and barely any aim, so then you at least can improve the mechanical part. Um, of of because you can always get better aim. It's harder to teach game sense, um, which is what we're actually about to do this next round. And I'm gonna I'm like gonna have uh, unknown really call, but then also really give him the guidance as he's calling to to reinforce his calls, you know? Your gut instinct is almost always going to be right. Don't question the gut instinct. And you'll probably, you'll learn more from it. Because sometimes your gut instinct, maybe it's a wrong call, but at least you'll learn next time. It's like, okay, well that didn't really work, you know? Hey, what happened with biker? Somebody said something with biker? Let's see here, hold on. Might have missed it. Um, was he in chat? This is your champion. Does he have a different name on uh, on YouTube? Again, if you guys enjoy anything you're seeing, don't forget to leave a don't forget to leave a like. Oh, new map. All right, uh, let's go run Here's off. A good spot to touch down. Sure. Just because I think it'll be safer. Yo, Sarah, welcome back to the stream. I appreciate all of you guys for being here today. Really great vibes today, by the way, guys. Really great. Yeah, an hour of like real coaching can make a really big difference. I know people are kind of like commenting on one of the other posts, like saying it's not going to make a difference. If you got somebody telling you what you need to do, it makes a really, really big difference uh, in, in like direction, you know? I don't know. Okay, we got a team over here. Okay. There you go. We got me. Not much. I'm going to try and run up. Here. One guy's sentinel. One guy's got a charger up down here. Okay, I'm fighting one guy. Valkyrie two people. Flesh. Oh, one. Crap. I'm blocking this guy at the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got that, I think. Nice. I can't catch a break, man. Like, I got three. I had three people on me. Good stuff, though. Thing is, like, you think? Well, because in, in ranked, I always, well, at least now. Oh, you're not bloodhound now. Okay, I was like, for a minute, I got confused. That's my bad. No, that's fine. But um, I've always tried to. Well, at least recently, I'm trying to look at more where the other teams are landing. Not necessarily near to me, but like in other POIs. Yeah. So I'm always trying to keep an eye on for that. But now that I've been doing that, I always forget to look at the teams that are close to me now as well. Okay. Um, whenever you're shot calling, so you'll call where we're going for rotation next. All right. Let's. Uh... Try not to think about it. Just, just call where we're going. All right. Let's just go bunker then. All right. Let's go. 
You already knew where to go. You just got to call it. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. second guess yourself. That moment, like, well, maybe. No, 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 no. There is no maybe. Like every second we're wasting, there is no maybe. Get get the thought process of maybe out. Just go on the first call and bunker. That's a, that's a great rotation. That's perfect. We're towards the other zone. There's probably going to be a team there. We can also rotate towards the south side. Great instinct. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, it's it, it, it thing is that it looks good on paper, but then you start thinking like, well, what if there's a, yeah, there's all but that's a, that's the thing about battle royale. There's always a what if. You just have to call somewhere to go, and then assess it, reassess whenever we get in, right? Right. See, your call was right. There's a team right here. You know. This guy's a little late. All right, what do we do if we're waiting for a teammate? Okay, what are we gonna do while we're holding here? Just loot up, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. See, don't even hesitate on it. It's like, well, I got a moment. Oh, what the heck? I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, I'm pushing back. Oh, there's another guy here. Bloodhound's coming up to you. Yep. Reloading. Another Selling. Actually. Oh, crap. I hesitated for a second. That might cost me. Really? How did I get hit with that arc? That's so frustrating. Yeah, he's on me. He's on me. The ring's closing, and we ain't in it. So in Dude, I can't catch up to him. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> Reloading. You know he's got a bat. Hold on. Popping the bat. Hold it. Pick me up, pals. He's pushing right now. He threw a grenade up in the air. He took your cube up to the roof. Past it. Sucks. Oh, so I screwed up on that. That's my bad. But your calls are right. Like we we could have won that. You know what I mean? Like it was really really close. So, yeah, we could have, but you know, that's another thing where whenever I make a call, and if I do, and then yeah. something just out of my control, I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But that's a, that's a great maybe call. You waited for the teammate. Longer. We went over because you have every little second of hesitation. You may not that you may they may not have actually gotten the jump on you because you already mm -hmm. need to loot and be aware. That that's what you're trying to get to. You're trying to skip the part where you are going to get caught off guard to the point where you're always on guard because you know exactly what the, you're controlling the the fight you're controlling the uh the environment you know what i mean yeah and everything because we could have clutched it out and then we ran over to the bunker team it would have been fine it was pretty close honestly um i had so many moments i wish i had a battery and if i just push or outplayed him it was like there's could have been so many moments where i could have gotten the wraith but i also hesitated and made a mistake but we got to that point where we can make a mistake and that's that's what we're looking for you know um, when yeah. I was talking with Bike about it as well, I was like, how can we get to the point where we can make mistakes, little ones like that, where it's like, oh, they got the jump on me. Well, maybe if I was in the building, maybe if I was on guard listening for footsteps, quote unquote, Apex Legends, where are the footsteps? You know, but it's like all those little things that will make a big difference to um, to improving. Um, take us wherever you want to go. That works. There's a lot of teams that are going to land right here, so we got a third pretty quick. An enemy. Oh, yeah. I think they'll be fighting for a while anyway. Yep. So if we lead up quick, we should be able to just run across. By you being more on guard, you'll build more confidence and be ready for third parties and stuff, you know? Yeah. Okay. My worst blood. weapon. Let's go. First blood, and it's not us. Wonderful. Let me know whenever you're ready and we'll go on your call. Yeah, I think I just... Oh, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Did what we Deal with what call a body. Remember as you go in, you can loot while you go in. Quick, like quick window yep. shops, you know? Lucky us, we are already inside the ring. Okay. Because you'll know what you need, and I told this to Bike as well. 
you'll know just by looking at the loot table do i need that do i need to pick that up you know the answer is you'll you'll know you know, like you don't need a window shop you don't have to spend time to think about it right Oh, uh, come, come, come with the pathfinder. Yeah, I got... Yep, yeah, I'm gonna sell. I cracked Bloodhound for about 120. Yeah, he's... Uh, I'm gonna do a scan. Yep, go for it. Nice. Careful, make sure that you're holding angles. Don't wide swing. As you move up. Mm, good scan turn. Okay. This is not a good place. This is, this is a good place. This is good. Make it a good place. We can land our shots. We got the angle. There's other teams putting pressure. Okay. Hit him for 20. Alright. Shields recharge. I'm gonna queue up trade damage. Cracked one. Another squad on us. What do we do if we got another squad? What can we do here? Yep, perfect, perfect. Good gut instinct. Let's go. Wait for them to fight and we'll go back in. Watch your right, Pathy. There's a hole in the squad. Yeah, come back, come back. Yeah, if we have no shields, come. We can loot up here. There you go. Perfect. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's good calls. Unlucky. Sometimes just encounters like you if we don't have any more resources and it's just not working, it's just not gonna work, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you can feel it out. Like that angle is a good angle if we did more damage and we could have pushed, which I did crack, but then we got thirded, you know? Mm. I think it was just a bad angle for me because I only had a R ninety nine and the peacekeeper, so I wasn't gotcha. confident on hitting Using those long range shots. Yeah. That's but, perfectly uh, fine. Just make sure if you find another gun that you're able to switch to it, so then you're more confident around the mid-range shots, right? Yeah. Or like uh, I said, work on your R99. I know you can land your shots, so focus on it between different ranges. And that'll help a lot. So then when you're at that distance, you can land your shots. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let, let's just go back. Let's just yep. go back. That's a good call. Because there might be loot here. Maybe we can catch them out. No. I'm just going to do a scan right now. Okay, he's here. It looks like they, they moved. We're all inside the ring. Fantastic. Half the squad's remain. Let's keep winning. Has been eliminated. So any moment you feel yourself, oh, I'm hesitating, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. Just make, make a decision, you know? Got it. And if you see your teammates are lagging behind, you're like, okay, they're not with me. I'm going to continue to loot. I'm going to be aware. I'm going to check my surroundings as I'm looting around, you know? I'm going to assume that anybody can run up on me at any moment. Someone traveled through here. Uh, we can push up there since I think everything is taken anyway. Okay. Care package being delivered. Incoming care package. Right here may be good for looting. Here I go. Okay. Wait, let me scan before. Uh, yeah, that works. Times have there been people sitting up there? Old father, give me the scan. Watch yeah, your game sense is there, man. Friend. Like, I'm just pulling it out of you. I'll, I'm not even really telling you what to do, per se. I'm kind of guiding you into what the decision you've already made. You've already yeah. made the decision. You just have to say it's it's a good choice, you know? Mm-hmm. You just got to be more confident with it. And even if it is, if it's not a good choice, at least you made a choice, you know? Most people struggle with at least making one. Okay. Uh, Target over there. Let's go on it. Zone. Let's go, yeah. Another moment of like, should we go? Nah, just go. We we know what to do. We know. There's a fight. We're in zone. We go. Try try to come up with your list of rules internally of like, when do we push? When do we not push? So if we see that there's multiple teams fighting, we have resources. We push. If we don't have resources. I'm gonna keep looting. You know, try to fill up all this time, all the space with something, you know? Yeah. Is that a Valkyrie up there? Okay, give me. Holy crap, I think there's like three teams. This is perfect. I'm going to ult that yeah. bubble in a second. Yeah, I'm going to pop ulti now. Yeah, go for it. I'm not going to notice it. I'm just counting you right in front. I have no idea who's who. I thought that was a team. 
Pack path. Nice. He's dead. Still see one bomb. Behind the rock here. Yeah, let's finish him. Alright. Armor was whatever you need right now, and then continue to push. Yep. Uh... My ping. Bad guy. Outside okay, I'm away. Gunning. Nice. One guy. Alright, we move up. He's probably by himself. Yep. Shields recharging. Ahead of him. Frag grenade set. Oh, I hit him. What? Nice. Nice, nice. Purple. It's tap strafer. <laughs> yeah. Nice, no, like a Ferrari. Oh, oh hold on. Oh. Taking your pick. Yep, go for it. Hey, I'm trying to flash. Nice. Name on numpties. They built them tougher in my day. Good job. Okay, I'm scared. We pushed out the far as on. Let's go back. Yep. Reloading. I'm with you. What's that? That was me. I dropped an item. Just attack. Healing up. Much better though, man. Seriously. It's a... I know, all you gotta do is to make sure whenever you're playing that you don't revert back. Just kind of be self-aware of like, I'm making a firm decision. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm I'm actively making a decision. Whenever it feels like, oh, what do I do? I'm moving around. I'm rotating. I'm watching an angle. I'm, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Fill in the space with something. So while you're looting, I'm covering you. I'm looking at your angles. I'm checking left. I'm checking right. I'm checking for you. I'm actively engaged. I see you're not looting for a second. I'm going to loot Heavy this box for a second here. now. I'm going to switch to a 3x. I'm going to cover for you again because I notice you're looting. You know? Well, I didn't even pick up the 3x. Oh, oh hello. I can do better I'm on my, my covers, but... I'm going to queue up and do damage. Okay, go. Crack lifeline. 100 on her. Or just a bat. I'm going to bat. Yeah, I'm taking your queue. Go for it. You guys are full HP. And they're flush. Yep, nice. I am fire, I'm moving up to the building. Same. On me. Nice, Flush. good job. Alright, where you guys are holding, I'll cover. If I can get on the roof. There you go. Does he still use mouse excel? Yeah, I still do. It's insane, there's no R301s. I have one. What are you using right now? R99. Swap with me? Oh, no, my left You got one? Okay. All good. Crypto okay, drone crap. Um, oh, yeah, where's that coming from? Oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm just kind of They're revolting, they're revolting. Three go. Two guys. Nice. I need push back. You're good, you're good. I'm popping you back. Yeah, I'm covering. I got silence as well. Covering for you guys. I'm taking an angle by this uh, explosive hole. I got a bat. 28 on crypto. Okay. Nice. Oh, two guys on the right. One on the right, one on the right then. He's focused by himself. Alright, yep. Yeah. Popping ulti. Okay. I got, I got shredded. I got to back up. Yeah, yeah. Trying to move back on. Cracked Wraith. Yep. Cracked Ash. Again. One's coming inside, one's coming inside. I'm backing up behind the Yeah, door. same. Another team, another team. Back up a little bit. Back okay, up. Yeah, one's in the house. Yep. Coming free for a second. Keep backing, keep backing. Is that towards us? No. Yep, it is. Quite a bit. I gotta slow heal this man. I don't have any bats. Uh, I can drop you a Phoenix. Yep, thank you. Counting it from. Nice, nice. One guy. On the Ash is so crazy. One's rotating up on us. I'm about to get this Phoenix yep. off. Okay, I'm good. Crack, with you. Nice. Dead. Arkstar, Arkstar. Okay. Moving back here. Keeping up. I have no shields. Can't lose my shots Crack. apparently. Dead. Nice. You go for a shield up on him. Okay. Oh, of 
Oh, it's okay, I have to bat for this. Another squad's popping the heads in. Scanning in front. I got a bat again. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna swap to the other armor and bat. Only scanned one, though. Okay. Uh, Maggie, I'm coming. Okay. One's gold. Okay. Oh, zone's one. Let's uh, try and push down. Yep. I'm gonna go for his banner real quick. Okay, yeah. We can get the Rezo. Yeah, I think so. Right. Huge, though. Love the calls, man. Big, big, big. I like it. Oh, I haven't seen that. I'm Rezo now. Yeah, go for it. Here, I got 60 for you right here. Light ammo oh, nice. here. I'll drop you even more. 48 right here. Light ammo thank you, here. Thank you. Uh, I can drop you my rampage. Heavy ammo here. I have come to save so I'm gonna find another gun for him. Uh, I'm just scanning behind in case they start moving up. I'm surprised they didn't chase us. I'm gonna go for that beacon, might as well. Yep, I'm going for the uh, care package. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't grab it. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't grab the Kraber. There's a Kraber on that. I thought I clicked on it. You're good, you're good. I could have sworn I held. Red. Med kidding. Careful, they might grab I'm that Kraber. Crap, I think they grabbed the Kraber. I got uh, ult in 96. Alright. I'm gonna try to get an angle. Yep. 26 gold. I'm gonna ult for it now. Scan, scan immediately. Scan, scan, scan. Oh, uh, Kraber on top of the roof. Yep. On I'm here. Queue okay. up. I'm doing damage. I'm trying to make sure he doesn't shoot you. Scanning again. 67 on him. It's two, it's two. Yeah, Push him. Yeah. I'm a bit late behind you. With you. Back. Down. Swapping, swapping. Pushing Kill you. I have no secondary, but it's fine. Okay. Dead. Nice, good stuff. There we go. Get your get your main. That's you. That's gonna be your main weapon now. It's all you. Oh, you're right here. Yep. Nice, huge. Pushing. Can't see the other. I'm taking this bit. Scan him one. Oh, he's crypto droning. I got it. Cracked one with 45. Huge. Nice. Watch out for Rebel. Got a bat. I'm pushing back. Nice. Right, down. Yep, nice. Yeah, yeah. Scanning. Nice, there oh, we go, dude. Stuff. That's what's up. Oh, dang. Good job, man. Seriously, way better on the comms and like the work behind it. Much, much better. Thank you, man. Well, just try to remember as you go through the week to think like that. I know that you're not going to have somebody in comms to kind of reinforce and say, hey, do this. Hey, do that. Just kind of yeah. be the voice in your own head to say, no, this is what I'm going to do. And then even if somebody doesn't do anything, then say, OK, I'm going to back up. Then I'm going to push back in. Then I'm going to back up. OK, I'm going to wait for them. I'm going to loot up while they're doing this or I'm going to play aggressively at this angle. So, like, that's what you can do. I mean, you you killed it, man. That was great. It was awesome. Thank you. Man. From, from the first game, you've already started making huge strides and like are just more confident. So I love it. Love to see it. Wow. But that's how you got to play. And it's not always going to be perfect. Remember that. No. It's exactly. not, it just, you see in rounds where it's like, okay, that worked out well. This one didn't work mm -hmm. out well. So you just kind of have to make it like, understand that and like realize that, yeah, hot drop. I, I see you're winning your ones. Just remember, don't wide swing too hard. Um, don't yeah. like pull it back a little bit. Make sure you at least have cover. 
Because yes, you're confident, but have cover. And then two, when you're rotating, you're making decisions, just be active in whatever you're doing. I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna loot, I'm going to do this. Always be doing something because don't feel like there's just dead air and you're kind of like not engaged doing something. Always be doing something um, to help better the team or cover or do an angle, something. Something, something, something will always help. Got it, yeah. All right, man. Wow. I think it's a little bit longer than an hour, but hey, I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. It was, it was good fun. It was a real eye-opener. It, uh, it definitely... Well, you definitely showed me like how uh, my weaknesses and definitely what I can be stronger at, especially with shot calling and just being less hesitant. Awesome, and that man. was a, a big one for me. So thank you for that. Really. No worries. Um, I think the next person was uh, is at two. So technically we have a little time if you want to just queue up and play again. Oh, yeah, man. I'm down. Whatever you want to do. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Oh, man. It, uh... It's hard to get out of the ranked mentality when you're playing pubs. Like it, it, it kind of screws me over sometimes. But you gotta think. Just just pretend everything's ranked. Yeah. I, every I, every everything is ranked. Do. You know what I mean? Mm. Because then you'll always play smart. You always play to the best advantage. Um, yeah. Everybody who's watching a chat, don't forget to leave a like. Again, leaving likes helps other people find the stream. We're already killing it. We're a lot of good likes on the stream. I mean, let's see if we can uh, hit the next next threshold, right? Let's see that number just like skyrocket right now. Every time I mention it, it always goes up. So let's let's make it go up. Which Apex Legends? Oh my God, Labs is crazy. Maybe if you left a like, I'll let you know. Yo, what's up, Corn? Good to see you, buddy. We go again. Yes. It just flew up. It really does. It's crazy. Whenever like, there's always, you guys like have the power. The power is in your hand. All right, let's get it. It, it is kind of crazy, like how you were able to find my weaknesses. It's always good to have someone that's a little bit better. There's always something to improve upon. Even I'm always learning. Yeah, I make yeah. mistakes in my gameplay, you know? It's just like knowing like, oh, I shouldn't have hesitated there. You know, like, I, it's just like, when I was fighting the Wraith, I just should have just kept going in on it. You know, I should have just, I tried to heal and like the Wraith was also playing really smart. But it's like, there's always those things you can improve upon. That makes a big, big difference. I'll give you a playlist after the fact, just like a bike on things that you can improve upon. Uh, I'm thinking we could just do this building here and then it's good. Rotate. That works. Oh, come on. RNG gods, please. Mm. It's not midway through. I was like, I'll follow you. Oh, first blood. You know what? Well, you can't solve the eternal mysteries of the universe without breaking a few okay, eggs. Wow, our crypto is just sending it. Round one. Coming over in a second, just finishing. Yeah, it's fine. No, this crypto is like sending it, so I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be with you. Uh, listen, if somebody makes a mistake, it's on them. I'm not going to take ownership for their mistake. So if we need to slow it down, we'll slow it down. Marking. Oh, 76 purple on uh, out. Bangalore here as well. They're fighting another two. I'm just gonna keep yeah. backing up. I might be uh. Oop. Yeah, I'm gonna do something crazy. Oh, go for it. I got a phoenix. I'm gonna drop you, and then I'm gonna push in just a little bit to cover. Okay. Phoenix on the ground. Thank you. Popping now. Yeah, they just finished. Giving you a scan. Okay. Queuing up. I'm gonna flank him in a second. Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping up with you. Using a saw. There we go. That's what's up. Ooh. And there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That that crypto made a huge mistake by leaving. It's just like impatient, yeah, yeah. man, impatient. And just because the crypto made a mistake doesn't mean we have to make mistakes, you know? Yeah. Oh shame. Could have been here. What they res? 
It's over by runoff. I'm gonna push on that. I think we should go. Yeah. one dropping out whenever you're healing um try to heal while while you move if you can how 200 fps it's not two two thousand sorry it's a uh, it's just squished because of stretch res or his friends must be the one for about 120 moving up I got scanning 15. Yeah. Hey, pick me up. Taking your cube. I'm pushing it on the sky. I'm with you. Cracked. 26 flesh. Nice. One above me. Okay. I'm gonna give a scan. Marking our surroundings. Two. Oh, no, sorry, one. Quick eye. We downed another. Where he's on the foot, ground floor now. Yep. Crack 50. Nice. Let's go, GG's. Oh, Good comms. Uh, Why am I carrying so much energy? I don't worry, I have way too many cells, so I don't feel bad. I'm gonna craft. Yeah, good call. Cool. Uh, Daz, how do you grind out mechanics in the game? I feel like decisions positioning wise, I'm not bad. It's just trying to call out your own mistakes of what you see that you're doing wrong. Got to do some crafting, and then knowing, okay, if I have this mistake, then trying to grind it out with some sort of exercise or training routine that you can come up with that works for you. Why am I failing on the wall bounces? Whatever, it's fine. I'm like dead sliding. The horizon, when you're in her queue, do you have like just zero spread Crafting. when you're inside of it, like going up? Um, that's a good question. Like how does it work? I think you're supposed to have spread when you're flying down. I don't know if you have zero spread when you're flying up. That's actually a good question. I don't know the answer oh. to that. I, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a little bit of spread. When you're up, it's supposed yeah, to be yeah. as if you have normal recoil, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Got like your it. normal recoil as if you were on the ground. Yeah. When you're in the air flying down, you shouldn't have uh You should have- then that's when the spread kicks in when you're flying down. Let's explore mm. this way. You can't strafe in the queue, can you? Like, you can move left and right, strafe. but with Horizon, you're going to have more mobility than other Legends. Yeah. Man, maybe I should pick up Horizon. Yes, Horizon's great. Yeah, I, I, I just see her as like more not offensive but just i guess defensive so i want because I, I base good champs on what their q is more than their ultimate i would say her q is more offensive yeah um, it can be used for defensive purposes to move around to use positioning but realistically it's always going to be used for offensive like to to add some versatility in a fight you know mm. Oh. Is another fight? Someone yeah. traveled through here. Might be going on here. Good this sure. Yeah, it is. Enemy spotted. Oh, I should have grabbed that arc. I'm gonna grab that arc. Go for it. Moy. Think we move up. Mm. Yeah, let's move right up. Take the zip over. Okay. This is dumb, but I didn't mean anything could work, honestly. I res you out in the open, just pointing that out. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. So, okay, never mind. What's an ult? You just went down there. Let's just go. If we drop, I can queue us back up. Yeah. Marking. Ulting. Give him a queue. Oh, shoot. Shot the wrong one. One in your queue. 47 flash. On, on flesh, flesh on uh, your nice. cube. Okay, I got a bat. Go for it. It's four hostiles, there's another squad. Yeah. Uh, P, P and A in here. Nope. One rising. Uh, Gibby, go. Careful. Yeah, I'm backing up. Oh, Gibby, I'll give you up. Yep. 
We're outside of it. Another soft line. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. Reload. I'm, I'm gonna throw a Q right here and see if I can do some damage. Go for it. Let me see if I can get the flank on them again. Okay. Got Even one batting. Yep. Shields recharging. Uh, if you guys scan, use it to put pressure. Freak him out. Marking our surroundings. Gibby's in his queue. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm backing up a lot. Okay, you're good. I'm gonna push in. No matter, no matter. I'm just I hit 72 kidding. on path. All right, let's just back up then. You yeah, can go around if you want. Yeah, let's go around. Oh, that's unfortunate. You're good. You're good. Keep going. I was out of bats. Shields recharging. Once we have to reset. Drop mine if you want. Uh, no, no, keep healing, keep healing, go, go, go. Alright. I'm gonna heal while we go. Alright, I think we got time. We can make it over here. Unless you, uh, we can actually go through market. Shields recharging. That's sliding everywhere. Oof. Oh, uh, okay, I need light. I am out of light ammo. Okay, we'll look. Yep, we got time. Thank you guys, everybody in chat, for just being amazing and supportive throughout the stream today. I appreciate all of you guys. It's been good vibes today. Shield battery here. We can hold on to that. I got cells. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna check these pill boxes down here. I think they're fighting in the choke on the left. No, we. Might be able to take the zipline up after. Yeah, let's go take a look. Healing up. Oh, please, just a little bit, thank you. Alright. Make sure I'm in love with Hawk's look. Uh, Horizon amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like reading chat as I'm moving around, so if my movement looks a little weird sometimes because I'm trying to read chat. I think. I think they're still fighting, like, where we, uh. Like we were fighting. No, I'm not I think so, one. yeah. Let's just move up on it. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate you, dude. Okay, one uh, one team's Valko team. I got one Gibby right yeah. here. I'm gonna take shots. Scanning. Okay. Holding. What's a wee singularity between friends? Looking shot from above. Yeah, one on zip. Almost killed the one on the far right for the Valk. Yep. I'm looking at this team here as well. Yep. Moving up on the team on the right up here. Alright. Zone's gonna close. Yeah, um... It's back. Let's go this way. Yeah, let's go back around. Yep. Everybody fought. Nobody actually did anything. Thoughts on Seer? <laughs> Seer's really good, but Bloodhound is just better across the board. It's kind of hard for Seer to feel very viable when Bloodhound is just so dominant. I think, I think they're going to rotate out of that. It's not to say Seer's bad, it's just like... Also, the uh, it's a high skill ceiling for the tactical in terms of like knowing when to use it to stop a heal and stuff. So a really good Seer can be really, really amazing. Let's move up on that. No. We're gonna call. Oh, right in front of Oh, what the heck? I looked at I looked away for one two crack, seconds. Yeah. Bow cracked. 44 flesh on. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna know. Oh. I need a bow. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Oh, I don't have bow. I'm those. Swap off the octane. Yep. Nice. Oh, come on. I hate ult to you. Good work. You're the kill leader. Very nice. I was close. <laughs> I was reading chat for a second there. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, I looked over there right on top of us. Alright, I'm gonna start moving. Do you need a med kit? Uh, Here. yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. I heard one team with a Okay, well, we've got three seconds. Got him. Shooting for you. Oh, wait. Might res. Hit him for 24. 
Sliding in, sliding in. Yeah, I'm in the bat. Give you. Oh. Stop Gibby. reviving. Just keep pushing if you can. Oh, it's the other team showing up. Oh. No, don't do it. Oh, good try. Oh, man. That's so close, dude. Oh, that Gibby all caught me off guard. That's all good. I mean, we were 3v2 right. and then 2v2, so we, we were, we're doing really good, though. That's really good. Yeah. All right, man. Let me see if this next person is going to show up. Let me just message them and see. Yeah. Gibby's good to go. They were so close to getting that. If you oh. check, yeah, yeah. The community post is where you can sign up. I think all the slots are, are filled for today, pretty much. Um, there's one person. I, let me check my email to see if they ever responded. Hold on. Two seconds, chat. I'm just looking. I'm also going to link in the live stream. Let's see here. Two seconds chat. Appreciate you all for being patient. checking my other email sorry chat give me two more seconds all right bro i'm gonna segue over just so i can get another person in but i'm just messaging yeah, to see fine. if i can get them in uh when they're ready okay yeah that's fine man. great uh great job keep focusing on that that commitment because it's working like i see such a difference in your gameplay um just pretend like i'm there just calling you to push you know what i mean yeah and then you'll uh you'll make big big strides in your gameplay Thank you, man. Really, that, I really appreciate that. This was a uh, real good. No worries, man. From you keep keep the the money, man. It'd, it'd be a donation from me to you. So. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm totally fine with it, man. I, I honestly don't mind. I appreciate it, dude. Seriously, um, I appreciate you. Hit me up. I'm gonna send you a aim lab list based on what we discussed today. So give it me like by end of day today, um, yep. and I'll send you a list and send me over a vod of your best gameplay so I can review it and look over it. Okay. Sure thing. All right, bro. Literally of your well, what you consider like your best game, so we can kind of All break right, apart yeah. the best game, okay? Mhm. Mm yep. All right, man. We'll speak soon. Yeah. See you, man. All right, have, later, bro. Fun. Later. All right, we got our next next person in. We got disciple. All right. Also, unknown is a very good dude. The fact that he said that that's awesome. I really appreciate the fact he said that. Okay. Yeah, we're coaching live, uh, Rory. So if I'm not responding to chat as fast, um, that's that's why. Um, and Zane, the, the coaching sessions going forward are going to be free. Um, I've been re uh, refunding people um, just because I, I thought about it and I just, I don't know, like I just feel like it's uh, it's better that way. The downside though is that obviously it's a first come first serve and it's like almost hard to get a slot, which is why initially I put a price tag on it. It wasn't because I wanted to make money, it's because I wanted to avoid trolls, have people take it seriously. And then give those a priority of those who really, really wanted it, you know? Right. Yo, yo, what's up, man? What's up, brother? Not much. Let's uh, let's let's get a let's coach, coach coaching session going. I can't talk. I've been talking for a while already. It's okay. All right. So shiny invite. Uh, we're gonna go into the test range and we're gonna one v one, so I can get a feel for where your strengths and weaknesses are, so I can figure oh out what's going on. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna do that for thirty minutes, and then we're gonna go in game. Okay. Sounds good. Are we starting now? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's so good to meet you, Daz. It's good to meet you, Brandon. too. Nice to meet you. Brandon, do you prefer Disciple or do you prefer Brandon? You can call me Disciple. Okay, got it. Let me know if I need to turn down my... I want to put push to talk on, so let me know if I need to turn down any volume or anything. Okay. Uh, just a reminder, keep the cursing to a minimum. It's YouTube, so YouTube's kind of strict, you know? Oh, bro. 
Yeah, you know, best part, <laughs> I don't swear at all. Oh, okay, awesome. <laughs> Uh, Quispy, we will open up a. I I gotta figure out how I want to do it. There's people who are saying they they don't mind paying for like a guarantee slot, but I'm gonna always put free slots in there. I'll have those be the priority. But my idea is to give back to you guys. That's the whole point of this. I want to do these coaching sessions. I have a lot of fun doing it. And just so you know, disciple, this session is gonna be free. So let me know. Send me your PayPal so I can give you a refund. As are you sure? No, I I'd rather pay. Are you sure, man? Like I wanna yeah, I wanna pay you. All right. I mean, I'm just I'm letting you know. I mean, like I thought about this because going forward, I want to have free ones, so I want to make sure it's fair and consistent. You know what I mean? Um, I know. At I, least I read that part, but you know, okay. Yeah, you, you you're working right now, brother. Come on. <laughs> I'm also having fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I'm a photographer, so I do the same as you. I have fun and I work. I got you. I appreciate it, so man. I got you, brother. Yeah, I appreciate you. All right, so let's get it. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so when we load in, grab yourself a wingman, gold mag, favorite site, R99, gold mag, favorite site, and then we're going to meet around the little box, and we're going to 1v1. Got you. Uh, so the, we're going to do five rounds of 1v1s, however which way you want to try to win the fight. And the whole purpose, I'm just trying to, I'm going to feel out, like, what your strengths and weaknesses are in a 1v1. Uh, so far, everyone, everyone always has something different, and maybe you might be similar to... To unknown, or maybe you might be similar to Bike, who, um, <clears throat> who's been going so far. It's just going to kind of depend... Uh, we'll kind of gauge it from there. So, don't tell me your sensitivity. Don't tell me who you mean. I'm just. I just want to be able to gauge it without any. Uh, what do you? What's the best words? The reason why I do that is when I went to acting school, I kind of. You go in without any preconceived uh, thoughts about who you're facing or like what's going to happen. And I'd rather you just come in with everything you got, so I know exactly what I'm dealing with, so I can try to help you improve as much as possible. Man. And then grab as much ammo. Grab a full line, gold to red, all that beautiful Level stuff right five. there. Got you. Oh, uh, no attachments, right? Uh, gold attachments and your favorite side on it. I mean, I mean, um, like stock and barrel stabilizer. Yeah, no Don't stock or barrel. On, right? Correct. Okay, got you. Uh, loadout as wraith, uh, just so we're a similar hitbox. Got you. Uh, I made a community post. If you check on the YouTube channel community post, that's where I'm like, it's all going to be done through player base. And uh, that's where people will sign up. Um, I will talk Let with player base. Oh, you're good. You're good. All right. So when, once he comes over, honestly, the one person hasn't responded via email. So I got to figure out who that is. Because I have three people today, and I had a max of four slots, and I emailed one person. So if they happen to come by and chat, uh, please let me know. Discord DM me. You have it in the email whenever you signed up via player base. Like, all the details on what we needed to happen. So I need to make sure that person... Otherwise, I can just fit them in for next Saturday, you know, but still. Okay. Uh, take, take your slot on your box. This box? Yep, and then we're gonna do five rounds. Uh, make sure whenever you die to switch legends back and forth because that's the fastest way to heal, okay? Okay. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Okay, we go again. No! Remember, never stress, it's all good. Um, in terms of uh, winning, losing, you beat me. That's awesome. I beat you. It's awesome. I'm just assessing. Ready? Three, yes. two, one, go. Is my audio good? Yeah, you're good. You're loud? You're good. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Getting shot at. Two Bro, more. So Ready. Three, two, one, go. Shots. 
All right, one more. Unless my math is wrong, but one more. Okay, remember it's a good thing to feel the nerves because it's exactly what happens when you're playing ranked and playing high tier lobbies, all right? Thank you so much. No worries, man. No, thank you. We got this. Ready? Three, two, yes. one, go. All right. You just super glide on me. No, I just Holy flew. I, that was not a super glide. Gosh. It was just a normal slide jump over. Did not see you at all. Okay. What I want to actually see from you real quick. Uh, yes. Straight from front of me. Just back and forth. Oh, without running? Yeah, yeah. Can you do the crouch strafe up and down? Should I put my my um? Should I be doing hold to crouch or toggle? That's a either one, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Which one okay. do you feel more comfortable with? Hold. Okay, perfect. I mean, um, toggle, toggle. You feel more comfortable with toggle? Yeah. You're hundred percent you sure. Recommend hold. Um, hold because then the you can let is, go I of just... it afterwards. What is the only reason I'm asking is because I'm looking at your strafes and I I haven't really seen you use them in the encounter, so I'm trying to see where right. how comfortable you are using a strafe. Now, doing your strafe, can right. you can you shoot effectively while strafing like that? Let me shoot you. Yeah, go for it. Keep shooting. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Oh, that's a big problem right there. There you go. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's a huge problem. What, what is what is your crouch? What are they what are they key bound to? So my hold to crouch is C, and my toggle is control. Your toggle is control. All right, C is C is going to be more accessible for you. Just just keep strafing back and forth like this with C, right? Up and down, up and down, left, right. You're you're on you're on mouse and keyboard, so I kind of already figured that. Your sense is pretty. Hmm. I wonder if it's a little too fast. Uh, but. I think so, bro. What's your sense? Not that you. Oh, here we go. You want DPI and everything? Yeah, DPI and sense. So you just get the DPI. It is seventeen hundred. Uh, and okay. sense is zero point seven. Zero point. That's not bad. That's a, that's a pretty middle of the road sensitivity. So one thousand seven hundred DPI and point seven, right? Right. Yeah, that's about it's, it's about the same as a uh, you were like in between bike and um, an unknown. You're like right in the middle. I think what we wow. need to do, and I, I was seeing you punching a lot, and I was seeing you make make a lot of misclicks when you're moving around, is we gotta really focus on your what your left hand is doing versus what your right hand is doing. Okay, so how I'm gonna okay. figure that out real quick is I want you to just just start shooting me right now without moving left and right. I just want to see your track with R99, so go for it. Yeah. Good, pretty decent. Go again. Just keep shooting me so you, so you kill me. Okay. I've been down. Now, if I have you do the two together, I'm pretty sure your accuracy is gonna fall apart. Let's let's find out. I want you to strafe back and forth, uh, and you don't have to go up and down. Just strafe back and forth and keep a solid strafe, and then and then fry me down. Go for it. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. It's better. Now you're focusing on it. It's better. There you go. All right, all right, okay. Because your movement, um, when you're moving around the box, I can feel, you're saying that I'm overwhelming you, which is kind of true because I'm kind of dancing around circles because of my movement, but I need you to have that similar movement ahead of time. Let me see, you can tap straight if you got it. You must You must be overthinking it. All right, let's go again, ready? Let's 1v1 again, let me see. Do this. Oh wait, ah, frick. So sorry, I did not grab enough ammo. No, you're good. You're good. We just had. I just need to identify what's happening with your left hand in terms of your crouch spamming, and then also using the movement in the right spots. But we'll figure out as we keep going. Is this pre-recorded? No, it's not system. It's live, dude. The stream makes me feel so happy being part of the community. I appreciate you, Fishy. Thank you so much, man. Or is it live? It's live, dude. I'm gonna figure out what your weaknesses are. It's gonna take me a little bit longer, I think. All right, no ready? Problem. Three, yes. two, one, go. Firing. Getting shot at. Oh. You're yeah. good. You're good. Yeah, I got the fat finger. Whoa. 
We gotta slow you down. We gotta slow down your movement. What's your tactical bound to? My tactical is F. It's F. Okay. What's your Q and E bound to? My Q is. I'm going over here. Going yeah. Q is my grenade. Like your tactical ability? Like like if you're going into phase, what's your tactical? F. F. Okay. What is, and Q is grenade, and what is E? E is to use, to open doors, open bins. Okay. What's really tripping you up in terms of your 1v1 is that I feel like you're you're over, overwhelming yourself. Like, you have good movement. If I tell you to tap strafe, you tap strafe. If I tell you to slide jump, you can slide jump. If I if I isolate you to tell you how to crouch spam, you're doing fine. You need to make these key binds more accessible so you don't hit hit them all the time. And so you're you're when you say you're going to do something, you're going to do something. Right. That, that's where I feel like you're tripping. You're like you're tripping over your own self. Like you're, you're making the mistakes yourself. You don't, you're not even you're not fighting me. You're fighting your keyboard. You know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not telling that's you to switch to your keybinds, but at the same time, I, like you're if you're hitting F, perhaps your F button needs to be something that is not going to put you into phase, right? Um, right. But like how like if you're using grenades, is is it something you're always going to be accessing with your Q? I would I would have you just really think about your keybinds so you don't actually accidentally hit them. Uh, like my F is my interact uh, as an example. Um, not saying oh. that's that's not right or wrong. Like my oh, that, that's interesting. My Q is uh, E. My heal item is E. My F is interact. My C, we have a similar one where uh, crouch for hold and then uh, Z is for toggle for crouch and then my alt oh, key is for ping. Good this way. So what I would have you do is really isolate how, if you keep hitting that keybind, you have to move it. What can you move right. there that is going to be not detrimental to your gameplay if you keep hitting it? Um, if, if a button keeps getting there in the way. I like your keybind, so I think that this sounds really nice to try out. Then give it a shot. Okay. Because then you won't go into phase, you won't actually hit the wrong thing. It won't, it won't trip you up. You know, that's the idea. You don't want to trip yourself up. And now that I have you change your keybind, it's going to feel a little overwhelming again. But I see you tap strafing. I see you, you know, strafing correctly. Um, you know how to wall bounce, right? Yes. Show me wall oh, bounce. Quick, quick question. What's yep. your grenade? Quick My grenade, grenade is G. G. What's your melee? My melee is four. Or uh, if I don't have anything equipped, it's just mouse one. Again, the keybinds are all personal preference, but it depends if it don't fat finger buttons or don't make mistakes with them. They have to make sense with your hand, so then you can easily do all kinds of movement that you want to do, right? Right. right. All right. Let me see. Uh, let me see some of your movement. I want to isolate some of your movement. Yours is a little different. Like, everyone, everyone's got some little different that I have to work on with them. Like, it's it's what I love coaching so much about. It's right. just like everyone has. All right, show me wall bounce. Hold tight. I'm gonna defend this area. On that wall. Uh, I got my crouch all thrown off now. It's okay, it's okay. There you go. Perfect, there you go. Alright, so all you need to do is constantly... Uh, uh, let's see here. What You know how to tap strafe. Do, do a quick tap strafe real quick. Something good this way. Perfect, yep. Clean. Um, bunny hop. You can bunny hop towards me. Are you? Yeah, all the way up here. Uh, just so I can see Let's you bunny hop across way. the floor. Yep. Okay, you got your bunny hop. Let me see a strafe, left and right. Running? Yeah, yeah strafe. And then with the crouch. Okay, cool. now let's do this again. So this is going to take a little bit to... I know you kind of moved around a little bit of keybinds, but Great. now I that you have... Change it back just for the video sake. Or I mean, not video. Um, what the, the stream sake. Because I, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna throw myself off. Yeah, yeah. Switch back. It's okay. 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 Just come back to the vod. I mean, this is gonna be a vod, so you can come back here and review it. You know. Right, right, right. So I want to stress. While he's switching his keybinds, um, just make sure. Show me watchful. I know it's like it's like Karate Kid. Show me wax on, wax off. <laughs> But uh, don't forget to leave a like. We're almost at 300 likes. You guys have been absolutely killing it today. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Um, what I need to get you comfortable with when you get your keybinds and that you're going to practice in the test range, try different movement tech and have it be so comfortable that you don't even have to think about it where it doesn't trip up your positioning and your aim. 
right? I don't want you getting tripped up on it. And that's kind of, I feel like right. that's what I'm seeing you do is I see you move is that there's always something like you're falling over your feet um, while right. you're moving. And when you're in game, you can't have that happen either. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Coming fire. Enemy down. Nice. So the other thing I'm going to have you do, um, you know how to move. You know how to counter me once you are aware. Um, but it seems like I'm always catching you off guard like I'm surprising you, like a, like as if it's a peekaboo. So what I'm going to do okay. is I, I'm going to keep running around the box. And I'm gonna what I'm going to okay. do is I'm going to tag you just a little bit. I actually did this with, with another friend recently. I'm gonna All I'm going to do is I'm going to do a single tap whenever I see you. Okay. And just to kind of like a warning sign, hey, you screwed up. Hey, you screwed up. You know? Right. Um, and I, all I'm going to do is just avoid you. I want you to try to kill me, but I want you for like, I don't know, we're going to go for like a minute just to try to try to, try to to get me, you know? Sounds good. That's your goal. And I want you to be able to catch me out and understand where you're hearing the audio and what I'm doing. Because okay. I'm, I'm catching you off guard a little way, a little too easily. But once you know where I'm at, you seem to be competent and know what you're doing and careful not to trip up on yourself. So focus on it. Don't trip on yourself up. I'm trying to put enough pressure on you so you kind of get used to the movement so you can practice it, okay? Okay. All right, so we're going to go again. Ready? Three, two, Ready. one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. There you go, better. Let's do that again. Ready? Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Nice. Let's do that again. You know when you're like jumping around in front of me like that? Yep. What do you recommend I be doing? Like, cause I was reloading. So you could have pretty much killed me. That yes. Was a real encounter. You gotta breathe. What do you recommend? You gotta breathe and take it. Take it slow. You gotta. You gotta back up. You're letting me dance circles around you. You gotta. You gotta breathe. And you gotta back up for a second. If somebody's right on exactly top of you, right. reposition. You. Whenever, whenever I, I got you tripped up like that. So let's say you're the right on top of you. You're like, oh shoot, what do I do? You need to decide of where you need to go through a corner. And then reset. You got to know when to reset. All right. All right. All right. Let's go again. Three, two, one, go. Getting shot at. There you go. See, that's a good reset. Better, better, better. You're already getting a lot smarter around the box, so that's that's better. That's exactly what I want to see. You're just getting more comfortable with it. It amazes me how fast somebody can really learn and get used to this just by kind of engaging. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Getting shot at. Very this nice. Alright, now I'm gonna fight back. That's better though. You're not getting us tripped up. Thank you, Desk. Alright. What are you, a uh, high plat diamond player? Uh, usually I reach like plat two, but yeah. Okay. Plat four, I would say, average. I gotcha, I gotcha. Alright, this time I'm gonna fight back, okay? Got you. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. See, big difference already, man. So much nicer. You're actually like, you're you're paying attention to me. You're listening. I want you to do that when you're in game. You gotta you gotta listen. You gotta. Re I know like audio sucks in this game, 
But if you see somebody, you really have to kind of heighten your senses a lot more so you know where I'm coming from, you know? But, like, already, like, even though I was running up, before you would, you were literally, like, standing here, like, and just overwhelmed. I hear you now listening, which is why I had you just, like, run around the box to really, like, pay attention to where I could be going. I'm tap strafing everywhere, moving around. It's not going to get much more difficult than that, you know what I mean? I mean, the worst that somebody can do is super glide, but, I mean, when they super glide, just so you know, they're going to fly this way, and then they're out in the open, and you can pretty much 1v1 them, you know what I mean? Exactly. All right, ready? Great. Three, two, ready. one, go. Already a big difference, man. That's huge, dude. I'm super proud of you. That's crazy. I haven't seen Thank anybody. So pe I haven't seen somebody pick it up that fast. <laughs> I, I've like helped a lot of people. With it. I'm being honest. I haven't seen anybody like pick up on the movement around the box that quickly. Usually, it takes a lot more. You're um, a great teacher. I mean, hey, you're a fast learner. Ready? Three, yes. two, one, go. All right, so what so I want you to you do... You know what I would say? I have one problem. What's that? Freaking, um, you know the buttons on your the buttons on your mouse? Yep. My holster is the one closest to my thumb, and I keep pressing it. Un unbind it. You gotta unbind get... Unbind it. Goodbye. You gotta get... You gotta you gotta get rid of all of that stuff that's in your way that's tripping up your movement that could that you can accidentally click. Move stuff that's unnecessary. Unbind like my buttons, my side buttons, they're unbound just so I don't cl accidentally click anything. Um. Oh wow. Um. What's uh? What's your up? What's your up scroll wheel and down scroll wheel? Obviously, up would be for tap strafing, right? Just, yeah. Up down. Is w down is jump. Perfect. Unbind those other buttons. You'll never hit hit them again. You won't make those mistakes. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. <laughs> okay, hold on. Why? What? Do, what did you normally holster. have there? Okay, so holster was the one closest to my thumb. Yeah. And then cycle weapon was the one. Yeah. The next one. You should right always be it. using your numbers. Numbers. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do for you. All right, just I'm gonna try to trip you up on, on, on this. You know, let's let's do this exercise. Come over to me. We're let's gonna go sw switch, and I'm gonna I'm gonna force you to literally get used to pressing one and two on switching weapons, and moving around and pressing a lot of stuff. Okay, so grab yourself a sentinel, iron sight, and we're gonna grab That's a gold mag good. and a uh, purple stock on it. Irons on it though. Oh, iron sight. Okay, iron sight. Purple stock, gold mag. Yep. I'm going to force you to have to think about your buttons. So this is what you're going to do, okay? This is the exercise. <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to shoot. Uh, switch what? Oh, I didn't pick up another sentinel. Pick up two sentinels, my bad. You're going you're gonna to hate this exercise. This is going to be amazing. I already hate the idea. <laughs> my brain is already stressed out. <laughs> All right. So what you're going to do is you have two sentinels, right? Same attachments, right. iron sight. What you're gonna do is shoot, switch weapons, shoot again, switch back, wait for the reload, then shoot, switch weapons, wait for the reload, shoot, switch weapons, wait for the reload. All right, so let me see you do that. Shoot, switch weapons. Oh, shoot, switch weapons. Okay. Every time you shoot, switch weapons. Wait for the re and then switch. Wait for the reload. Shoot again. Switch. Wait for the reload. Shoot again. Switch. Gonna be faster. All right, reset and do it again. I, I want you to see that when you're here, you got to be able to do it super fast. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But also wait okay, for the reload. Be patient on the reload whenever you're shooting, okay? So shoot and then... Shoot, switch. Wait for the reload. Shoot, switch. Wait for the reload. Shoot, switch. Wait for the reload. I know the first time you don't have to do a reload, but... So just okay, wait. So the, that's what threw me off. Okay, so the first time, just shoot. Yep, and then switch. Switch. Switch again. Reload, switch. Yeah. Shoot, switch. switch. Shoot. Wait for the reload. You can switch, switch again. You can switch again if you need to. So just keep switching. Yeah, just keep switching. Up until the point where you can't anymore and you have to wait for a reload. Then shoot, switch. And then to a point where you're kind of forced into a grieve, right? This is how you practice your uh, your switches. Now it's going to get worse for you. I'm just letting you know. Because what you're going to do is you're going to 1v1 me. Oh and gosh, I'm going to okay. force you to every time you take a shot, 
you have to switch. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want you so clean in your keybinds to the point where you're always shooting and quick scoping and moving around and still switching consistently while in a fight. So I'm literally tripping you up. You have good movement. You have good aim. You're starting to understand where to position yourself. But I want you to feel so stressed out with these buttons to the point where it becomes super clean. Okay? So remember that rotation. Okay. You shoot, then shoot, and then you afterwards you got to wait for the reload and then shoot. Okay? Right. Remember to always gotcha. just keep switching back and forth using the buttons. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? One, two, one, two. Got you. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. There you go, see him nose and you're tripping up hitting buttons. Getting shot at. Did I miss that? There you go, Ooh. better. Let's uh, get rid of the gold mags, I know it's really tripping me up too. Put purple max so it doesn't auto reload, so then you're forced to go for a full reload. Right. Okay. Two purples, let's go. It's something I need to practice on too. Mostly just waiting for the shot. Sometimes I take my shots a little too early, sometimes I'm a little too quick. Which I'm probably going to tell you the same thing to slow it down and make sure every shot connects instead of rushing it. Because I do the same thing. But focus on the key binds and switches. Keep up the speed of momentum for now. Focus less on accuracy. For me, I give myself the opposite note. I actually got to focus on accuracy because I pretty much have my switches pretty clean. Ready? Uh, Ready? Heal up though. Switch. Uh, oh. switch. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Better. Down. Try not to get sloppy with your movement while you're doing it too, uh, like your positioning. I know we're running around like maniacs, but <laughs> the time catching you up. <laughs> that binding, the um, the mouse button, mm -hmm. yeah, that really helped taking that off. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful not to hit your uh, your ping, like you did earlier. But yes. you didn't do it in that one. Right. But much, much better. So much better. Thank you. All right, ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. I'm taking shots. Oh, very nice, dude. You're getting so much better at this already. It's so much cleaner. It's an amazing teacher, dude. Let's go, dude. Very nice. All I gotta say. All right, we go one more time, and then we're gonna switch back to the original setup. And I want you to... You're, you, what you're doing now is what I expect you to do, actually, in a 1v1. So you're already making pretty massive uh, strides. You have the movement. Literally, you, like, the shots and stuff that you're landing, I'm shocked that you say you're you're plat. Like, that. This, there's no way that you're plat. Like... There's I'm a dad, so does that make sense now? You can Remember still easily you had do a it. Video that said, um, 
you know, that uh, you were saying like rank doesn't determine your skill. True. But if you if you yeah, played even a little bit more time in ranked, just replace pubs at ranked, you'll easily hit the higher ranked. I promise. I okay. promise. I promise. Like if you do two pubs dice. two pubs a night, do two games of ranked a night, don't stress about ranked. You'll easily get it. Like it's the way you're playing, easy. And the fact that you're able to make quick adjustments, you'll play ranked and you'll be able to adjust really, really fast. I promise you. Promise, promise, Thank promise. You this. Thank you. Okay, Thank ready? you. I'll try it out. Yes. Three, two, one, go. Very nice. Good stuff, dude. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the Wingman R99. Everything we've been doing so far, I want you to put it all together, okay? Okay. Because you got it. You know what my downfall was? I, I stopped focusing on switching weapons. <laughs> and I held the held one sentinel at the end. I only held one. You're good. That's okay. Hey, at least you admitted it, you know? Yeah, I gotta. You're the coach. <laughs> I gotta get my spankings, right? True, I guess so. That makes <laughs> Snap sense. Snap on the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> but the same mentality, I don't see tripping up as much in your keybind, so you're not really fighting yourself anymore, which is good. Yeah. Thank you. Minor tweaks. All, all it is really sometimes when it comes to coaching is that it's all just minor tweaks to what you're doing, so then you can make a big difference in your gameplay. Sometimes all you need is like that little push, and then all of a sudden, like, it just makes such a big difference, you know? I know, right, sir? Ayo! All right, ready? We'll switch sides just for the meme's sake and go on the other side. I forgot to grab a mag, give me a second. All right, after, after this, what we'll do is then we're gonna hop in game because I really feel like overall you're pretty strong in what you're doing here. I wanna see you in game to see what your decision making is and if there's anything probably holding you back in a big way there. Okay, okay ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm taking shots. Can we go again? Down an enemy. Fight me off of, of, of off of pressure points. Don't, don't, pressure don't, don't, points. In terms of like, if I hold so much dominance. Put pressure back yeah. with the aim. I know you got it. I know you got the aim, so put pressure back. Got you. Because I'm going to I'm gonna follow where you're at. I know that you're holding this angle really tightly, but at least mm -hmm. put pressure back. I want you to, like, it's like if we're doing tug of war, I want you to pu pu push the tug back, you know? Okay. Okay. Ready? Three, two, yes. one, go. <laughs> Big difference. There you go. If I flank you like that and you have no choice but just to fight, you have to fight. Just remember that if I catch you out. Because otherwise you're going to have your back turned. But I, I almost did it just out of habit by retreating and finding an angle. But if you fight me off, naturally the instinct is I can't stay here because I'm, take, I'm taking too much damage. Right? So I want you to be able to continue to put that pressure. Right? Keep that right. pressure up. Don't let somebody just have high ground and dance circles and have the upper hand. You can fight for it. So fight for what's yours. Okay? Right. Okay. And of course, if I get the jump on you, don't take shots to the back. Never take shots okay. to the back. If you if you are in that bad of a situation, you don't have an option. You just got to fight. You know? Right. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one, mm -hmm. go. Shots. 
No. Like right there. If I catch you out, you could have e easily done the damage back to me. Enemy down. I know hey. I'm wide swinging because I know I can catch you out, but just make sure you did it twice in the fight. That it, I'll, I'll call it out next time when you have your back turn. If you're going to make the decision to run, already know that you're going to make the decision to run a few seconds earlier rather than waiting for it, okay? Okay. Because this is going to happen the same way in fights whenever you're in game. Whatever you make the decision. Because, like, it, it'll happen in ranked where you're like, oh, God, I got to get away. I got to. Like, sometimes you just. You don't want to take all the damage to the back. Trust, you know? Stay yeah. and, and hold your ground and fight for it until I run out of ammo, until you can reposition. The moments that you can reposition is when you see me reloading or um, you're able to just anticipate that it's going to happen and cut the corner that much faster, okay? Minimize the damage and try to trade damage where you can if you're forced to trade damage. There we go again. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Getting shot at. You turn around. I ran because you were reloading. Just give an example. Okay. You could have dished out so much damage. Just remember, don't turn back. So you already anticipate. If you know it's coming, you know it's coming. Just be ready for it. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do next, okay? I'm going to wide swing you every time um, left side, okay? You just stay there and be ready for me to come around the corner and then just stay and fight me, okay? Ready? Three, ready. two, one, go. There you go. You traded equal damage. See what happens? See what happens? When, if you stay and fight, literally trading equal damage. Ready? Wow, yeah. Three, two, one, go. I'm taking shots. Trading a pretty solid amount of damage back. And if I just stay in reload, that's what that's what happens. Don't turn your back if you know I'm coming. I'm gonna go the other side this time. This time I'm gonna use the wingman. Use the wingman as well. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay, we gotta work on your uh, your pressure up close on wingman though. I would say the aim lab stuff I would give you would be uh, would would be flex. Let's do this again. We're gonna do this two more times. Let's I want to see how consistent way. we can get you. Otherwise, I think this is what you what you gotta work on. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one, go. Yep, yeah, you gotta work on the wingman close range, or at least like flex. You're doing it with a sentinel when you have a moment to flick, but whenever you get overwhelmed by somebody wide swinging you. Yeah. Like, if I wide swing you with the R99, you're going to fry me. Ready? I go right side. Listen, Three, two, one, go. Yeah, your sprays are fine. It's fine. Not bad. You just got to focus on the wingman. So, realistically, it's like a flick shot, a mo like motion shot. It's a really good one in aim lab. And I'll, I'll give you, like, a list of things to work on with it. But you got to work on, like, either flicking or being able to track where I'm at in terms of just getting a single shot. Um, there's other, like, almost like CSGO hitting... Uh, small targets at a distance. That's also another good one. I think there's a Valorant exercise that they just came out with. I know it's Valorant, but you got to work on the single taps up close and personal. Uh, it'll make a really big difference. Like your tracking is good. Um, your movement is good. Your large, large flicks are good. It's just whenever we're this close and I tell you, you got to land your wingman shot. So let's go over here. Let me see how you're like at least in range. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is to climb up. We're going to do a three, two, one, and then we're going to fight. Okay. Three, yeah. two, one, go. So yeah, it's just strictly your close range stuff. If somebody runs up on you, it's it's strictly your close range. If I run up on you close range, it's like you, you kind of lose it, but it's okay. Right. So right here again. Three, two, one, go. See, yeah, it's close range. That'll come in time. Um, but you gotta, right. I think that's the only thing I can think of in terms of aim that is probably your weakest spot. Come up here and then wingman me right here and then we're gonna Contact switch back and forth to the R99. So first with the wingman, we're gonna climb up with the box, ready? Three, yes. two, one, go. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, your wingman, it's like if you get tripped up and somebody wide swings you, it's better up close up here. It's not perfect, but definitely better. Um, I'll give you some scenarios to really work on that, though, to kind of iron it out and really grind it out. All right, so you're going to climb and do the same yeah. thing with the R99. I uh, just want to make okay. sure my, my uh, theory is correct. So climb up. Three, two, one, go. Taking 
Oh. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's better. Climb up again and do the same thing. You're a little sloppy on the first spray, but that'll also help. Would hip fire potentially close close range? You want to ADS. You want to be able to master your ADS because your hip fire speed is 173.5. Your hip fire is 173.5. If you want to land your shots accurately, you're going to ADS. Just for chat for people oh. asking. Literally the okay, same movement. Okay. Your ADS is the same movement as your uh, as your hip fire. So you're not gaining what? anything by switching between the two. So if you notice by spamming but for up back and forth, it's the same. Now for Thanks. using a R99, yeah, it's different. You'll notice I'm slowing down with it, but big tip right there. All right, so climb up, use the R99. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, good spray, dude. Seriously, that's good. Awesome. Um, it, it we just gotta work on your wingman close range whenever I trip you up. Like if I'm right here, three, two, one, start flicking. Yep. I wasn't even loaded. I know exactly. <laughs> well, you were able to land two shots afterwards, but in terms of like throwing you off, like if you wide swing me, ready? Just go wide swing me. Don't even count it down. Just come. Oh, oh, failed, failed. All right, we go reset, again. Reset, reset. Okay, ready? Yep. Let me look an opposite way. They started me. Yeah, I'm messing around. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. I just wanted to have a little fun. I can't white swing. It's all right. Can you teach me how to? But even then, I did a, I did like a 180. Swing. How do you white swing? One real quick. White swing. All it is just like just sliding in, and then just fighting. Oh, just sliding in. Yeah, you're doing fine. Oh, okay. But the reason I caught you out is I even was looking the opposite direction, but just 180 and already flick. But that'll come with time. I honestly say just focus on. Your wingman shots, um, maybe your 180s, depending on how clean they are. But like, if you just wide swing me again, same direction. Opening fire. I miss just as much, but I did a do a 180 on you initially. I can't believe I'm whiffing so much. I'm crying. All right. But yeah, that's pretty much what we need to work on. But even then you saw, it's crazy. I did the 180 flick and I land my shots and I start whiffing. So that's, just I'm just being a patega. But what you <laughs> got to work on essentially is those wingman shots close range. Like the way I was wide swinging you and landing the shots or vice versa. Yeah. Um, you got to get used okay. to that movement. And whenever you do, you'll you'll be so much better for it. Uh, your movement is clean. We've already talked. So the tips to take away here and then let's go hop in game. Let's do some games in together. So I can just see how yeah. you're looting and what you're doing. Is right. focus on... Your keybinds, clean them up, switch them if you need to so you don't slop your hand on them on accident. So you're not tripping over yourself. Um, isolate your movement just whenever you're practicing new keybinds. So, you know, it's like show me wall bounce, show me how to, show me bunny hopping, all of those different things, right? Um, and then make sure to do wingman, but focus on like the, the aim lap scenarios that I give you in terms of like flick shotting to various uh, yeah. targets that are really close range that are overwhelming to you. Every, everything else is pretty good. Like when we're doing the sentinel shots, you're, you're able to move around and you, you're pretty confident in it. So I don't really have much there. Your sprays are really solid. So it means that your tracking is pretty much on point as long as you got the upper hand. But also the last tip is to make sure that you're paying attention very closely in terms of audio cues, in terms of making sure that you're not getting overwhelmed. And I know this game's audio, like we've talked about, can be sometimes doo-doo, but you know, right. it's like, <laughs> just pay attention to it best you can. So you can anticipate where they're gonna come from. So you don't get overwhelmed. Right. So just. If you ever find yourself being sporadic and you don't know anything, slow it down, wait, and listen. Got you. Okay, so let's go hop in game. Okay. Let's go do a game together. They if you guys are still watching, hanging out, I appreciate all of you guys. So don't forget to leave a like. Already 310 likes. I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, who's your main, by the way? Is Bald it Wraith? lady right here. All right, perfect. Let's get it. Figured you're over there moving around super sweaty wraith. Should we be ADS hey. with the R99 up close? If you want to land more of your shots, yes. But if you kind of get overwhelmed, you can switch to an eight, to just regular hip fire with the R9. It's not bad. You know, the eight, especially if you're trying to go for more movement. You're going to have to kind of gauge that for yourself, though. Can you land more shots? It's up to you. All right, we go again. See, how long have we been going for today? We've been going for a while. Wow, I didn't realize stream has been going for, for so long already. Time goes by fast when you're having fun. 
Okay. He's a bald wraith that explains everything, right? Facts. Bald wraiths are all sweaty. All right. The right choice this time. I'll try to pass it to you if it's possible. Question, do you think is the best way to use rampart walls? I feel either I use it too much or not too little at all in a match. If you're pushing into a fight and you haven't really engaged, you can put up walls preemptively. If there's no call, no damage yet, then it's good to put down walls. If you're in the fight and there's damage done, you shouldn't be wasting time putting down your rampart walls though. If there is a breather or you're trying to reset, you can put down a wall. It's either before or when there's a reset holding pattern to actually put them down. But if it, if we say everything is actively engaged, I'll pass it to you wherever you want to go. And I'll judge you based on where you drop, okay? I'm kidding. I won't be judging you that hard. There's no right or wrong here. You gonna put me on the spot like that, Daz? 100%, wherever you want to go. 100%. There's, okay. there's no right or wrong, honestly, with dropping in a BR. Unless there's like 30 teams there and then you full commit on like one single spot, then I start to question your life choices. <laughs> I'm gonna land on the outside. Okay. I'm gonna land completely underneath then. I can't see her. Seven bullets. I just open the loop bin outside. What the bunker. Heck? Okay. Coming over to you. Cracked him. Hold him for you. Right below you. Yep. In the door. All right, I'm gonna wait for my Q to come over because I have no more ammo. Let's get that lance. Nope. Rip. Yeah, I'm running over to you. Flash on the bottom floor. Alright, got ammo now. Shields recharging. Alright, if you got a crack, we can still move on it. Getting up, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Okay. Here's a pick me up. Batting real quick. Okay. Reset, reset if you can. Drop, 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 drop. I'm gonna come up. Ah. No. Rip. There right, we go again. If you get a crack, feel feel free to always full commit. Um, just to put pressure. Like you've already won the fight if you got in the crack and you haven't taken much damage. But if I'm like in a 2v1, just still commit. Just, just still commit. If your teammate's okay. down, unless you're unranked, you got to make hard decisions and say, if you're not going to fight, you're not going to commit and you've already done the damage, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Wait again for the damage to be done? Right. If you've already gotten the damage, try, try to outplay them. Because at that point, you just wraith queue and see if you can bait somebody, you know? Right. Because if the decision was was already made that you're going to run, you have already would have ran like a mile away. You know what I mean? And gotten more loot. Right. Instead yeah, of just yeah. holding and um, being in a holding pattern, you know? So I backed right. up. I was completely out of ammo, picked up two guns. But if you were already in it and I can follow suit right after, then we'll save time. Uh, we don't even get a third this time. I'm crying. Yo, Hottie, what's up, dude? Hottie became a member. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I think I missed somebody as well earlier today who became a member, and I apologize for that. Let's see if I can message him privately just to thank him. The only coach on PC? I mean, it's cross lobby, so it doesn't really matter. Stream promotion will take you to the top. Your promo code. I have no idea what that means. But if it means you leaving a like, I'm down. Will you leave a like on the stream? But yeah, if you if you get cracks, you do damage, you full commit and put pressure. Always, always, always. Because your intention is always to push. If you're doing damage, just try to find an angle. Try, try to find a way to put pressure. And if you, if you feel like you can't, well, then you should be finding a different angle instead of holding the same one. Because all you're doing is now the team is like, he's still there. He's there. He's holding the same spot. He hasn't moved. You know, it's like their comms are going to be like, they know exactly where you're at, you know? 
got you. There's multiple teams here. We're a team of two, so we'll have to play that. I'm gonna go over here instead. That works. I'm gonna go far. All right, I'm gonna land closer and land land this building. Okay, I'll meet up with you. First blood. Well, you can't solve the eternal mysteries of the universe without breaking a few eggs. You confident to fight? Round one. Beginning ring countdown. <sighs> We're all inside the ring. How are you looking? Fantastic. Got a car and an R uh, re forty five. How about you? Alright, let's push in. At this point we can Ricky third G. and go look. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but we come in here, we try to clean up, and that's going to be our additional resources. So try to always be that fast in a rotation. Yeah. Shield. Reloading. Crack the uh, octane here. I'm gonna take his stuff. Take this person's stuff. Okay. Coming back to you. I'll reset with you. You're good. Heal up. New kill leader appointed. We'll find another opening. New kill leader. Ain't on the Watch bottom. Them. Dropping. Got a death box. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Another I'm gonna push line. up any damage. I uh, just dirty blue. Okay. I see him. 97. 100 flush. 116 lifeline. Push, push, push. Watch out for the, go the back. grenade. Uh, I'm yep. gonna go around. Right here. Yep. Right, nice, nice, nice. Swap. Nice. Oh, another team. Good kill. Oh, we're down the stairs. Oh, shoot. They stuck me. Oh, stuck. Back up, back up. I'm just gonna run at him. Yeah. Oh, they're finding another team. Take your time. Whatever you need to do. I'm gonna crawl back to you. I don't, maybe I didn't get stuck. I thought I got stuck. Okay, I'm good. This won't hurt. Hold on. Oh, this is gonna be close. Cover. I'm gonna med kit. Shredded. Reloading. Give me shredded. Okay. I'm gonna sw armor swap. Ah. You go ahead and heal. You go ahead and heal. Recharging my shield. Armor swap. Recharging my shield. I'm healing. Sure. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna back up to you. We might need to get out of here. Okay. Oh, they're running up right now. Gibby, focus, Gibby. Nice. Almost cracked him. Selling once, and I'm gonna push. Okay. Cracked one. On the roof. I'm gonna get him up themselves. You're good. You're good. Swapping. I'm here with you. Ah. Dropping on him, he's flush. Nice, good job. There we go. Oh, another team, another team. Flush on him. Push. We got her. We got to keep putting pressure. On the door. You want to go yep. second floor? All right. Popping the Phoenix. Find us. Shoot. It's another squad. I'm just healing I up. Nothing. I have nothing, bro. Alright, we'll back up. Let's back up. Alright, we'll reset. Get it. Get a. Uh, get some uh, resources again. But there you go. That that was a lot cleaner. Good comms. Try to calm everything if you can to teammates. How much damage you're doing, if you're rotating, if you're pushing. All of that stuff matters and just keep them very concise. So you see how I'm relaying information over to you so then it gives you confidence in the, in the encounter? Yes. That's exactly what you need to do.
or at least even have it in your head, like knowing when you can push. All that information is going to be vital. And I've already seen you kind of making adjustments in your gameplay because of it. So that's the type of energy and reset power you need. I'm going to drop four bats for you here. I'm, I got gold. Shield battery here. Another bat right here. Shield that's all you because I'm literally... Trade me cells if you have cells. Thank you. You got that last bat right there? Oh, so one more. Oh, there's a peacekeeper. I'll take the Eva. Nice. It's a master if you want it. Um, no, you're good. It's like I'm watching in two times. <laughs> I mean, fights like that get really chaotic. They get really crazy. So that's why your key binds and everything have to be that tight because every single second right there is going to matter. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, how many kills are you at? How much damage? Four. Uh, 514. Okay, nice. So I'm at uh, four assists, one kill, 1,072. So that means uh, every I time I told I told you to push, that's why it was so important. You know what I mean? Yeah, the perfect. You you were there at the perfect time. Yeah, and I like that's like it's teamwork. Teamwork make the dream work. You know, I need okay. you there to be able to finish off the fights and to be able to reset. You rezzed. Every everything was important, and every second really matters whenever you are in these encounters. Are you good on resources to rotate back in? Or are those you can keep looting? I got 50 light. Uh, here's a little bit more. Light ammo here. Thank you. Because essentially we should just duck and weave and go right back in. Yo, Joe, what's up, man? Sorry, we've been doing a lot of coaching today. Oh, you became a member. Welcome back, dude. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much, man. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. We're going to fly up on this, okay? What the heck? I'm gonna queue up right here. Yep. Yeah. She's flush. I'm gonna sell. Oh wow. Play you, play you. That works. They're gonna come up, they're gonna come up. You gotta fight, you gotta fight. Play you always. If I die, unless you know that the res works, just play you. So that's why I'm saying play you. Like I know they're gonna push. Always always put yourself first. Just because if I make a mistake, it doesn't make a the the Shouldn't make a difference. And just FYI, these lobbies are hard because this guy is like a pride with 52,000 kills. So keep in mind that these these lobbies are not easy. You know what I mean? So just remember, right. like, always prioritize yourself in the fight because that means more for your team than uh, going for res or unless it makes sense because they're fighting down below and you have the ability to reset. But if you know they're right on top of you, don't save me. It's just because I got caught out and I died. You know? Don't let my mistake right. hinder you from your... From potentially saving the squad. Got you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, of course. And of course, make sure that if you don't feel confident in a fight, that you make decisions for the squad to say, I'm rotating out, I'm getting out. Don't worry about the feelings of the squad saying, um, Prepared and ready. you know, fight, 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 fight. If you have no resources, you got to go get resources and you need to go search for them to come back in to be better for your squad. Um, so make sure that those calls for what you need are very clear instead of hesitating on it, you know? Um, I know, like, Unknowns was already confident, but he was hesitating on the calls. Yours has to do with making sure that you have the resources you need and then calling out the damage that you're doing, if you're doing damage. Curious, what's your overall KD? Also, coaching has been really great today, actually. It's been a lot of fun. Had a blast. Um, seems like everyone's really learning a lot, so that's that's a huge W. I was going to say drop hot, but we'll drop hot over here. There's going to be like a million people over there. Oh my god, it's going to be like, looks going to look like a million teams. Uh, one team. Maybe two. All right, let's contest on uh, where we know the loot's gonna be. I'm gonna go in that building that I backed out. Yeah. Too much people over there. Extended light mag here. Level three. I need to go loot those bins. Yeah, do it. Don't hesitate on it. I'm not. I'm literally looting. I'm right on top of these guys. Okay, I got a gun. Moving on. Reloading. Down. Reloading. 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 
That guy's AFK. Yeah, he is. Unfortunate. Queuing up. Recharging my shields. Broken enemy shield. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Wraith is one. Oh, she's down. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna help you. You're good. I ran out of ammo. You got this. Play you. Play smart. Fighting inside. Very nice. There we go. That's what's up. Better, better, better. One second. We got this. That must have been the last one because no one's revenging or whatever. Just attack. Healing up. Recharging my shield. Don't hesitate for resources. Never, never hesitate for resources and stuff that you need. If you need something, you have to go get it. You know what you need, so go, go grab it fast, you know? Recharging my shields. Um, it's, it's, it's weird. Uh, there's Everyone has, a, like, a different thing of what they feel they need to ask permission for. Don't feel like you have to ask permission for things that you need, you know? Like, I need to go loot the bin. It's like, no, I'm going for the bin. I'm looting it. Like... Every second that you Speed wait, board. hesitating on it means that there's a potential for you not getting that loot in time, you know? Right. But I know if it makes the fa the fights feel very uh, overwhelming. I don't know if you're feeling that or, or not, but it's like, oh gosh, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. That's the oh. pressure you should always feel. Got you. So then you're always doing something, right? I'm just looking around. There's like nothing. Right, like I don't want to let my team down. So like, oh, I'm being named out. Oh, sure. yep. I don't have any ammo. We need to back up. Let's back up this way. Fancy a stroll this way. Bam. Target's right in front of me. Back up, Mirage. I literally have seven heavy uh, light. There's a team over here. We're gonna rotate to the right. Awesome. It got. It cost to get money to get this training. No, going forward, I'll make sure slots are free. Um, I'll do, it seems like, f feedback, it seems like they want both. It seems like they want both free and if somebody wants to pay to guarantee a slot to like 100% always be on board. There's like, I kid you not, there's hundreds of people asking for this and I'm not going to do it every single week, but the idea behind it is to try to help as many people as possible. That's why I mentioned, I was like, I screw it, you know, let's do it for free, but I mean, I'll, we'll find a middle ground with it if that's what, what it takes, you know? All right, I'm pretty much at least better in a better spot than I was earlier. I might get thirded for shooting the prowlers, but seems like these prowlers don't want to leave me alone. So I guess it is what it is. On a portal? Yeah, I'm coming over. Oh, you good? There should be two teams here. Nice, I'll take that. Yeah, it's just good to be definitive in what you want to do. Um, it seems like you're pretty smart when it comes to at least rotating and knowing when to fight. Yours has everything to do with, do you have the right amount of resources to fight? And what do you feel comfortable with? Try to always feel comfortable with like the bare minimum. Not saying that you have to run the bare minimum, but if you got at least like a mag and a half, you can you can make it work, you know? Right. It can, it can work. Now, if you only got like 10 bullets, then of course that's not going to work. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Are they shooting at prowlers? Yeah, they're shooting at the the thing in the sky. Somebody just died. What the heck? Oh, shooting at the thing in the sky. Got you, got you. Fact. Queuing up. I did a bunch of damage on lifeline. 72 on uh, bang, I think. I'm moving up. Nice. Right, I'm gonna swap. Another team, I think? Yeah, there what is, is that? Another team. 42 blue on. I don't know who that is. Okay. 67. Flush. Up in the cell. Yeah, I'm gonna swap on this. So the other guy had not as good of armor. I'm pushing him. Queuing up. Okay. Right behind you. Oh, uh, where the heck did they go? Did he just turn? Did he leave? What the? Was it an octane? Let's see. Yeah, the blue skin. I guess he left. It's just left. <laughs> it's a dev. It's a dev. Bro, it's a dev. Oh, is it really? Yeah, look. 
Oh, you see the dev thing? So, Daz, you go find out who that was and you go scold them. It's a dev! Who? Who's a dev? a dev? Come on! They better who, stop. Who, who, they better stop by the stream. How dare you leave? They gotta die with honor. Maybe they're testing the game out. Well, let's let's give them benefit of the doubt. They're just testing it. <laughs> just testing the waters. It's all good. He was <laughs> testing. Backpack here. Dev box was from the flyer. Oh, is that what it was? No ways, dude. I saw the blue guy. Yeah, it, it was a blue octane. Wait, or was yeah, it blood it was a blue hound? octane, and he was shooting at us. Yeah. <laughs> Ouroboros, hello. What's up, man? Good to see you. You're moving. I noticed what you're doing in the game. You're moving with confidence. You know where to go. It's just the early game seems to really trip you up, man. Just kind of keep calm when the third third parties come, and be ready. Think think to the through the one v ones in the box, right? Think of like what's happening. Calm it. Slow it down just for a second. Um, it seems like you already know to kind of duck and weave between a fight, so I don't really have to tell you anything about that. But just make sure that if you have resources, that you, okay, you have resources. If you don't, then be smart and then go for resources. You know. Don't feel like you have to wait. And of course, if you do damage, I want to see you just kind of full send it, you know? Okay. I got a kill. I don't know where I got a kill. kill Lucky us. We're with the new kill leader. Testing new punishments after leaving. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Who knows? But somebody said it was a flyer, so it could have been a flyer too. I don't know. We'll have to go back and look at the VOD. And we're back over here. I guess we'll just go this way. Shall we head this way? Think of your rotations towards loot, yep. if that's helpful. Mm -hmm. That does help. In terms of like tips and advice, like just think of where, where loot could potentially be. So then you could get more gear, more stuff. Oh, not really about where everyone else is, more about where you can get loot? Um, for you, specifically. Oh, for me, okay. Yeah, as like your tip, because you struggle with resources. So think of like, where yes. am I gonna be more confident with more resources? Right now, it's like, okay. Uh, let's go where more resources are, you know? For more people, I would say, okay, think about rotation where you get better positioning. Yes, that's important. But for you, I feel like you do much better whenever you have better resources at hand. So, like, if we're uh -huh. rotating, we've already looted all this. Well, our next spot is going to be that, that area. You know what I mean? For pubs. For ranked, it could be the same deal. Like, if this was ranked right now and, let's say, we're down bad in terms of resources, then rotate towards an area where you can continue to loot. You know, don't just stay stagnant and wait and, and camp. Um, you're, you're in plat. You can literally play plat the way you're playing uh, the pubs right now. The people aren't much different in skill level because we're playing at a high MMR. There was literally a, a multi-time pred with 52,000 kills. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find anything more difficult like that in a plat lobby, honestly. You know what I mean? Right. So I wouldn't even I wouldn't even stress or worry for a second. Plus, I've seen you do your one v ones besides wingman close range. I'm pretty confident you can land just about anything that's thrown your way. Not oh, fighting right here. Hello, let's go. I appreciate you, Aristocat. Appreciate you, bro. We gotta move on that quick. Reloading. So many people down. I don't know if this is going to fit in there. That's what she said. It did. Let's go. Queue up top since it took out the door. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, climbing on the roof. Purple shield. It's all you. I can get up there. We're struggling to get up right now. Me and this poor Mirage. Resetting. Yeah, I'm coming up. Another team, dude. All right, queue back. I'm gonna go back. So I gotta reset. You're good, you're good. Oh, that poor kill leader's trajectory was. Recharging my shield. I whiffed a lot there. I'm gonna place a portal. Okay, it's 2v2, it's 2v2. Killed a hooligan. Follow us, shooting at me. Reload. Shield's reaching. I set the portal. Should I go for the res? Yeah, go for it. I'll cover. Come down here, boy. In the back. Recharging my shields. Coming. Okay. I have a portal. Okay. I mean, I won't tell. Oh, he came through the portal. Got my guy coming over. Ah. No damage done to him. Okay, okay. Absolutely not. He's still here. Okay. He's still here. Unfinish me. Alright, coming over. 
I need your banners. It's not good. No, I'm so dead. Shields recharging. Oh, I worked too hard. Oh, good try, good try. Good try. Yes. But much better. Um, just make sure you don't. Again, don't you don't need to ask permission on what you need to do. Just call it and then trust your gut instinct on it. Because it was a good reset. It was a good port. So stick with it. You know, there's not yeah. a, there's not a right or wrong answer when it comes to what you're doing. But the 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 wrong answer happens is whenever you hesitate on it. So don't hesitate on it. You know. Okay. Because if you ported back and res and you came through and then you finished them and then. Yeah, another one will come back. Maybe take the port right back, right, right back through. You know, just to keep dodging them. Then, then when you port back through, there's boxes all there. So then you can use those boxes to swap on. You know, and yeah, there's going to be non-stop third parties, but it's just kind of way the game works. You know, there's always going to be another third party. So how do you constantly reset? You know, right. I think she's going to take Horizon from me. Feels bad. I'm going to run Loba. I'll solve your resource problem by playing Lobo. And then we'll see what you do. I gotta change my name to resource, man, brand. Right? Because once you got your stuff, you're good. I've seen a lot of people crumble under pressure by feeling like you need all the best attachments. You need everything in the world to want to fight. You don't. Um, you just need better positioning and to go in and push him with confidence. You know? I'll take care of you. Cause you can land your fights, you can land your damage. You're 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 you're, you're good, man. You got it. Thank you. I wonder. I feel like I haven't been using my abilities or legends like fuse, where I misplace my ult or tactical that don't offer much damage. Wish or anything, any tips for that? If they're behind a box, that's when you can use your grenade. Use it like a normal grenade. If you see they're trying to push in and they're open field, then you use your your ultimate to slow them down or catch them out. Queuing over. Jump drive in position. Here's a pick me up, pal. Throwing our star. Got a med kit, I'm gonna med kit. Yo, Galaxy, what's up, man? Diabetic bear? I I don't know, it sucks, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't think anybody thinks this is a positive thing. In terms of uh leaks. Nice, good oh, stuff, good stuff. I'm a Bangalore. Yeah. Moving up. I'm with you. The next ring's far. Come on, loot as you go. Light it. Standard stock here. Level three. Attention. All right, I got my ult. I'm gonna drop it real quick. Setting up shop. Try to be quick. Remember, don't window shop. I'm good. Remember who hooked There you go. Good speed. I've got your back. My favorite kind of loot. The kind that's all mine. Did you crack one or knock one? They're in here. Oh, in the window. Firing. Yep. Oh, there's a million gas in there. Careful. On Burning one. Flanking. In She's in the corner right here. Okay. Cracked a uh, caustic. Got him. Oh, let oh, me out, let me out. Sure. You're good, you're good. I'm gonna flank. Nice. I'm gonna bat. I'm gonna bat. Coming from the bat. 30, 30, yep. wait. That's all you. Yeah, you guys got that. Nice. Free loot. Use a phoenix. Up with a phoenix kit. 
Hey Des, I want to start playing Wraith, but I really never know when to use my ult effectively. Any tips? Whenever you need to get out because you're being thirded, when you're trying to rescue a teammate that's out of position, or whenever you're trying to push in for a fight. Should be one of those three instances. Very nice though. A lot better, a lot better. Might have to do like a couple rank games with you. Maybe an alt on, a, on another day. And see what happens when you feel the pressure of a rank game. Let me know, buddy. I'm gonna queue up to roof. Throwing jump drive. Mm, We've got 30 seconds to get to the next here. I'm gonna drop my ult though. Down, setting up shop. R99 or 301? Nope. It's fine. We'll take cells. Oh, take more cells. All right. Jeez, I didn't have any. That's crazy. Any tips for Mirage ranked? Mainly that everyone knows how his kit works and never get away with bamboozles. It's really hard at a higher tier. I would say pretty much at diamond uh, plus or even high plat, you're just not gonna. Oh my god, my mouse spun out. Okay, I'm good. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you're good. My mouse, I got like a hair or whatever on it, I think. Any tips for Rampart? If you get damage done, just same thing I'm telling Disciple. If you get damage done, especially if you're defensive legend, you know what I would actually have you do, uh, Disciple? Is I would actually force you to play like Rampart or Watson. Uh, maybe if you're too scared about tanking your, your KD or whatever by I'm trying to improve on another account to learn because you're going to be a major step back anyways on it. When you do damage, try to find your positioning to get in. You know? Like, how do you get in when you do, right, when you, right, when you right. do damage? And I feel like that's where you struggle. Like, if I if you had height up here and you crack two of them, how do you get in? Well, you immediately drop. You cover with this rock right here. You move forward. You try to hunker down a little bit. You move up a little bit more. You can even use this rock for like a second by hovering over and then you rotate over to this rock over here. Take hide on it. Continue to put pressure. They keep running. You see what I mean? It's like there's little there's like right. you gotta inch your way closer. Ever Back so here. much closer because yes you have height but if you do so much damage you have to get them out of the lobby. You have to kill them you know? Right. But use every bit of cover as you're going. You don't wide swing. You're, you play really smart. Um, you don't wide swing. You just uh, stall, which is not a bad thing either. It means that, that you, it's because you're smart, you know, like, okay, well, I don't want to go out in the field. I'm going to die. Like, it's a very logical thing. Oop, there they are, pushing over here. I see an enemy over there. Yo, Red on what's up, man? It's good to see you. If anybody's hanging out, don't forget to leave a like. We're almost at 350 likes, and we're getting towards the end of the stream for today. I think we're beyond an hour, but I don't really care. We just, I've been vibing, you know? <laughs> Trying to give as much tips and advice as I can. On my ping right here, I'm going to shoot at him. Knox, let's go. I think it's just one up. Throw an, an arc. I'm gonna throw my ult here just in case. Anyone if I need to come back for, for loot. Shopping. Somebody on one, keep pushing. Go, go, go. You can port in if you need to. Setting a portal. So when we're talking about wraith ports, that makes sense. This one makes sense. Because we might need to get out immediately, and I don't really know quite yet. Right here. Okay, one for 84. Reloading. Moving up. The top. Okay. 45. Purple. Yep. Back the one up top. Flush. Classic's running. It's also flush. 89 in. Keep pushing. Oh, that sucks. I missed that guy. 58 on Wraith. I'm gonna sell Rook. I'm actually gonna bat. What is to my left over here? Oh, Classic. Okay. I think Reef's coming up. I hate Caustic. Our Horizon just wide swung. Took so much damage. Are she ulted? Nice. Pushing down, pushing down. There's a knock. Caustic is blind. Back to team. Resetting. Nice. I killed uh, the soul squad's dead. Resetting. 
Third party coming in. We're good. I'm gonna we're hold good. them off. Okay. Oh, it's another team fighting, actually. Yeah, yeah, that works. It's perfect. I'm swapping right now. I'm gonna head towards it then. Yeah. Okay. Then you get a different light gun. I'll be out. Wait, oh, is it Sunday for death? It's Saturday right now. Bubble. Okay. I'm coming out in a second. I'm looking for bats real quick. There's my R301. There's my backpack. Uh, there's no bats. I'm coming on my way. Rejuvenating. Hold on. I dropped it. Putting my ult on for a second. For At the door. Okay. I'm gonna grab a nade. And my bats. Okay, I'm here. Arcing. Push oh, you. shoot. Yep, I see. Nice. I need a bat. Saw you guys for a second. I'm being pushed. Flush on Valk. Oh, baby. I'm batting. One more. And the third party. All right, I'm covering, I'm covering. Backing up. You're good, you're good. Did the Valkyrie get re arrested or anything? No, she's not. Nice. Find a med kit. I have one. Hit 70 on path. Do you need a med kit still? Yeah. Here, on me. I'm going here. Covering the door. Hold on, I need to heal. My stream schedule says Sunday. I screwed up. I'm a bad streamer. <laughs> I've been doing Saturdays. I upload Sunday for the most part. Hold on, I Should I keep my consistency if I can't play the game since I'm in college? Some weeks I have more assignments than usual. Just find a balance. Even if it's just going in the, in the test range for 15 minutes, you know? Just so you don't forget how to play the game. I feel like Apex pros that are in college. Yeah. It's just a balance of things. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to close that. My, uh, okay, I don't have a key bound. I'm just going to shoot it. All right, let's move. That works. I change key bind sometimes when I'm on specific legends. Oh, they're on the side. Uh, they're chasing somebody. What? The heck? Hold on. What? What is going on over here? Who's he chasing? He's chasing somebody. Oh, right here on me. Oh my god, he's an absolute beamer. He's insane. I'm batting. Oh my gosh. That guy was insane. I got a heal. Hit him for 63. We gotta rotate the zone. Oh, I should have grabbed the 3x. Who's got the 3x? 2x. I grabbed it for you. Oh, nice. Alright, let's go. Gracious. Uh, purple mag right here. Extended heavy mag here. Level All right, three. let's push in on them because I think they're fighting. It's last two squads. Watch ALGS. You learn more. Sorry, my guy. It's live right now. Oh, you're good, dude. I got so much to teach, man. We're doing live coaching right now. Your face is ALGS. Dude, I've shot cast at ALGS. I've done it professionally. Sixty-three on one. On the way. I'm gonna bat as I push in. Yo, Cooper, what's up, man? What are the fundamentals of Apex and which legends? Fundamentals of Apex are positioning, knowing where to drop, focus on legend choice. Oh, shoot, I'm not Horizon. Lifeline's flush. Crap. Crack one, though. You're still streaming? Yeah, we're about to wrap up probably here in a minute. Recharging my shield. I'm using a Phoenix Cat Pals. We definitely should have pushed him way sooner, but it's all good. Broke beam down. Enemy down. Do I just get zone? Yeah, if you need to. Or you can reset. You have time. This is the last squad. I have Remember that. Four, four, four syringes. Finish this guy right here. I see an enemy. Broken enemy shield. Opening fire. You got that, you got that. Very nice. Whole squad 
down. We made the right choices. You can Last heal, one. you can throw stuff down, because you're not gonna make it all the way to the zone, you're gonna have to heal. Patching myself up. Next ring's not very close. As coach, you've been going very, very well, man. It's been going really well today. There you go, nice. What would be the best legend for an IGL and ranked? It's the same ones that would be great for IGL and ALGS. So it'd be like your your Ash, your Wraith, um, because they're the ones who are making an aggressive port in. I've even seen Gibraltar make a pretty decent IGL because they can bubble forward. But mostly it's going to be your entry fragger that's going to be the one who's going to make the strong IGL choices. Only one squad. I think they're probably going to be on the far other side. This side? Probably. I'll just get zone. You got this, man. I'm probably going to wrap up after this round. Time yes, understood. Wait, I've been going for over if, four if hours. You have to go right now. Oh, no, no, you're good. You're too. good. Nah, bro, like I was saying, I want to pay you because um, me and my wife were photographers. Yeah. So, um, you know, like, and um, people schedule appointments with us. They inquire. So it's kind of like this, you know, like I scheduled an appointment. I, I, I set up like a booking. And yeah. You, you messaged me. I really liked it. I really enjoyed that. So, you know, it's like a whole service, bro. It's like a hotel room right here. <laughs> I'm paying for it, you know? Well, I, you know, I want you guys to learn. That's the whole goal. And I know I only say it's an hour, but I, like even if follow-up, questions, everything, like I right. want you guys to make sure you get something out of this, specific with your gameplay. Um, if you're And you play Wraith, and I know that you're smart with your decisions. Make sure that you're always... Uh, that you're shot calling essentially. I know like we're both playing aggressive legends so and I'm also coaching, but don't hesitate on on your calls. Same thing with um with unknown. Um it's okay to to rely on your instinct on uh, to rotate for resources or push whatever makes you feel comfortable so that you know that you can push on a fight, right? Right. Like the moment where you hesitated there, I don't have any resources. The person you knocked, you could have easily finished them off and gotten more resources off them like heals and everything. Um, ah yes. Yeah, so you gotta th you gotta think of it that way. Every elimination, everything you 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 get, um, helps you more confident in the fight. Like whenever I'm Loba here, um, I think it really helped you kind of like ease up and like, oh, I have all the resources I need. But when you don't have a Loba, you gotta make sure that, uh, well, what are you gonna feel confident with? You know? Right. And it'll come with time. Okay, oh, Daz, serious question. Here you go. I'll go for it. Yeah. How many do you see? So one guy, two, two, three. Oh my gosh. GG is death. No, you can, there's always a way. What, what is the goal here? You got to isolate them out. Try to do damage. Doesn't matter height at this point. There you go. There's the damage. That's what I'm talking about. Push in, push in at this point. Take an angle on the far right. You got the Gibby out in the open. This this is your chance. There's no other chance that you're going to get besides the Gibraltar pushed out in the open. Careful on the wide swinging too much. If you need to, port back and Q. There you go. Hopefully one of them pushes all the way back. Use the door and bat behind it and see who makes a mistake and pulls out. So bat behind the door. See who pushes forward. Whenever they do, they're literally sitting out in the open. Try to shoot as much as you can on them. Arkstar back. Move out to the next door. See who's going to be the one that you're going to catch out. There you go. Good damage. Try to go to this door and bat behind it. Good port. So you make it. Oh there you go. Better, gosh. better, better, better. But that's the type of that's. I know I'm like calling what you should be doing, but that's the same type of thing. You did a lot of damage to them. They're teabagging on something that they shouldn't be. I don't understand why they're teabagging. But that's. I love it. But if you did a lot of damage to the Gibby, you need to immediately like. I know that the the second I told you to push, you should have already pushed. Right. So it that was been that was, there, right? Yeah, yeah. That was two seconds of waiting that you could have mm -hmm. wide swung and potentially knocked the Gibby. So what can you do after you knock the Gibby? Port and run away. And then uh, when you have the port, bat right on the port, and then immediately take it right back to go into the fight. And hopefully they're there, maybe they said, oh, she ported, now I gotta go for the res. And then maybe you can catch one out and do a little damage while they're resing, right? And if you don't, right. well then you port right back and see if you can bait somebody to come through the port and try to 1v1 you. So what could have happened there whenever they push forward, you could have stuck one, you could have stuck the Bloodhound, um, and that could have turned the tides there. Um, Constantly use the doors to buy yourself a little time. Your Wraith. Wraith is the perfect legend to isolate teammates in a 1v3, right? Um, right. 
if you were uh, Horizon, let's say you did the damage, I would have flew right on top of that rock and just started trying to screw them up as much as possible. Where are they going to run? They literally have an open field. They would have to turn and try to shoot you right in the open field as much as possible. That's the only thing they can do. And if they land their shots and you lose, it is what it is. Like That's, that's your play, though. That's the best thing that you can do to actually win that fight. Um, so review the VOD. Um, be more confident in terms of your decisions, in terms of resources. You got the resources? Use them. Finish your knocks, isolate people in a 1v3, your wraith, use your port to get in and out of a fight, but use it to bait. Um, focus on making sure you listen for your opponents and where they're at. Um, so whenever you're at the door, you could have batted there. You could, I know the, the door kind of broke your, your ultimate to kind of take it on height, but it would have been a great way to segue back as well to kind of run right through the building. Because the thing is that if you right. port right back to the building and they run through it, they can't go through the port. They can't get right back into the building easily. You know what I mean? Because right. they already took yeah. it out. It's such a brilliant strat to port right on the door, and you had the right mindset right there. You know? Right. So seriously, a lot of great work, man. Um, I'm gonna Thank message you, so you much, Des. how to improve those wingman shots close range, because you mm -hmm. you see what's interesting. You landed the long range shots on the Gibby, right? Whenever right. they were, were running up on you, those are the shots that also have to matter. You know? Yeah. Th those shots need to be the difference to to also help you uh to help you improve got you i have a question i do kovax yep. yep um so what would be like the difference here because you do aim lab um let's talk off stream about it all right i'll message okay. you yeah probably later this evening uh, good. i'll stream about it okay sounds good bro all right any other questions before I, before i wrap up yeah I have one question on um, yeah hit, hit me up as many questions as you got maybe somebody else in chat yeah. has the same one Okay, so um, I just have a tournament coming up. Yep. It's um, by the group I'm, I'm part of, TGE, right there. Okay, yep. I have, a, I have a tournament coming up, and it's a duos kill race. So it's going to be five matches only. Okay. And so basically most kills you can get, you know, most damage placement. What's you, what is your advice for me to, me and my duo to be successful in this in this um you know in this tournament kill races are a little tricky um because remember dropping hot can really it depends on your confidence that you have individually um when is when is the tournament tournament is april 5th april 5th okay, you got a yeah. little time i'd almost recommend that both of you solo queue um as solo much as queue. like a solo queue no fill um okay for a little while in duos to try to win your fights because the thing is that you're Ideally, the ideal strat is that you guys both land on opposite ends of like portions of the maps where hot drops are and then clutch uh -huh. out your fights to get as many oh. kills as possible. Now, I don't think that's going to be really realistic um, based on, I, I don't know his skill level. Um, mm -hmm. So I would actually recommend dropping near the hot zone as much as possible together. Um, so I'm giving you the ideal strat because when somebody doing kill races, um, I've done them before. It's like, okay, I'm going to land over by... Back then, it was like, I'm going to land by uh, Skull Town, and then I'm a, you're going to land close by this area, uh, Thunderdome, and you're going to land near the other spot here. We're all going to kind of converge on one spot, right? So you're in right. kind of different spots of the map, but you're trying to capitalize on many kills as possible. Um, or even opposite sides, if you're just really that like confident that you can just steamroll lobbies as much as possible. So what I would do is, one, practice f uh, solo queuing du duos, no fills. And then queuing up together after maybe like a few rounds and then trying to land near the hot zones as much as possible if you wait too long you're going to miss out on all the uh the kills that are that are going to happen early in the lobby but again if you don't have the resources and you find that you're not confident you might as well make sure that the round goes well because i'm pretty sure the kill races still follow the same rules where if you get eliminated that's considered a round right right exactly so you want the rounds to count so make sure that you at least have like blue armor, you have your ideal load up, but get in as fast as possible before the lobby dies. Um, that's going to be ideal. Thank you, Daz. It's right. very helpful. Mind opener. Um, You're an amazing teacher, bro. Thank send, you so much. So before you do your kill race, um, mm -hmm. send me over footage of you and your teammate playing together so I can see how you're shot calling together, like the comms. Um, and yeah. then also showcase, send send me one of your best games that you have together, and then send me one of your best games that you have solo no fill, okay? Okay, sounds good. And I'll review it before uh, before you go on April fifth. You said right? Yeah. Just DM it to me, I and then I can I can look at it and give you as many tips as I can just from from reviewing the vod. Sounds good, brother. Thank you so much, Daz. No worries, man. Um, I will talk to you soon. All right. 
Yes, thank you. You have a great. Wait, what is it? What Saturday? time is it? Great afternoon? afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Great afternoon over there. Okay. Good. It's morning time over here in Hawaii. So. Oh, <laughs> awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you ever come to Hawaii, specific, specifically the island of Kauai. Yeah. You have a free photo shoot waiting for you. You and your family. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank Remember you so much. Me. Yes, professional. Wait, right here. I will, of All course, right. brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Daz. No worries. Hit me up. Great time, man. And just uh, just be sure to fire the vods, okay? All right. All right. Talk later. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, everybody in chat. I'm gonna go and wrap up the stream. I appreciate everyone for being a part. Really great vibes. Can we get three more likes before we go? Three more likes. We're literally almost at 350. There's three more people out there that can leave a like so we can wrap up. I appreciate all of you guys. This was a lot of fun. A lot of great feedback. This is such a, it's kind of a new format for me, but I feel like a lot of people are really learning a lot. It's a lot of information. There we go, 350, let's go. Thank you so much, guys. Um, let me answer as many questions as well from you guys in chat. Did you ever finish the answer to the question on fundamentals? Uh, let's see, what was your question on fundamentals? Two seconds. You said positioning and dropping. The fundamentals, make sure that you understand, can you shoot with every gun? Do you understand every single loadout? Do you have the ideal loadout for every encounter, meaning for long range and close range? Um, so you don't want to run into a fight with just a Mastiff and Eva 8, right? Because you can't do any long range damage. Perhaps you might not want to run an R99 and a Mastiff if you're not going to push in. You don't want to run a charge rifle and a triple take. You're going to struggle a bit with close range. You don't want to run a longbow and a wingman. Unless you know you can land every single close range shot, right? So those are the advice that I can give in terms of fundamentals. Understand your loadout. In terms of positioning, always go to zone. Make sure that you're fighting for positioning. Um, if you don't have resources like I was talking with Disciple, make sure you're fighting for resources. If you notice you have zero bats, run to a crafter, man. Run to a crafter immediately and craft bats and then go start fighting. If you don't have the resources, you know that you can't fight. If I realize that I have 10 cells and I have red armor, I need to go find either a fight that's third partyable and get batteries or I need to rotate and find a crafter to get the resources that I need. Because at some point later in the game, there's not going to be anything that's really free for loot anymore. But you have to make a quick decision on how you're going to capitalize on that. So the fundamentals, uh, loadouts, positioning, resources, make sure that you're fast in terms of your decision making. And the problem with Apex is that there's a lot of fundamentals because there's a lot of bases here. Um, in terms of the game. I know I'm making, I apologize because I'm kind of going off the cuff and it's sounding a lot more uh, complicated than what it really is. But realistically, if you kind of put everything in a little bit of a compartment, then you're going to improve a lot more. How do you keep having fun at Apex if you're having bad games? Just keep drop, hot dropping um, and play patiently. Realize that there's always something to learn, that you're always gonna, that you're always gonna improve, man. There's gonna be drops that just are bad. Is what it is. But if you did seven, if you did a thousand damage and you got no kills, listen, you did a thousand damage off drop. That's really solid. That's something to be proud of. Like, wh why are why are you worrying about it? You know. Serious question: How do you see enemies far away no scope and still hit your shots? You look for pixels. If you see a pixel that's really far away and you hover your cursor over it, you know you're gonna hit a pixel. That's pretty much it. Um, are you going to make more educational commentary videos? Yes, yes, definitely. My rank series is definitely me breaking down uh, rounds that I hit also in ranked. Um, but yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it, right? Do you have a recoil tip? Don't move around your cursor as much as you think. Just try to hone it in. Like we were talking in with, uh, with bike at the very start. Don't over flick. Don't overdo it. You're, the, let the recoil do the work for you. As in relation to tier three sub, where what where do I link my social? Yeah, disc, uh, Discord to DM it to me. And dude, thank you so much for uh, the tier three. Holy crap, let's go, dude. I appreciate you, Joe. I appreciate all of you guys. You guys have been amazing today. Um, very kind, very generous, um, very supportive. One last question from my bro, uh, Marcos. What's the best way to use Gibby, Gibby and rank to, to get masters? Gibby bubble push, push forward. Uh, I have a full video on it, on Gibby bubble pushes. Um, your bubble is literally everything. You use it offensively, you use it defensively. If a teammate goes down, you drop a bubble on that guy within like a second. Literally a second because as you res him, the enemy is going to rush you in your bubble. And if you're a Gibraltar with a shotgun, you're going to win. You have to win. You're literally Gibraltar with a shotgun in a bubble. Like, you're going to destroy a Watson or a Wraith, whoever tries to run up on you. And when they try to get away, you're going to win. Like, that's, that's a huge dub right there. You know what I mean? Um... 
but watch my video on how to Gibby bubble push, when to use it to push forward in your buildings, when to use it to get away, to use it for rotation. Your bubble is everything in terms of getting to masters. Um, that it's just it's so important. I, the biggest mistake I see from Gibbies is that they don't use it to push forward. If you see that they're in a building and you absolutely destroy them, use your bubble to push forward and win. Did I miss everything? Yeah, we're wrapping up here in a second, but it's okay. It's going to turn into a VOD. JC Beats, have a good one, brother. Appreciate you. Ash Tips. Um, if you crack somebody, use her ultimate to push in. Like, what are you doing? That, that's a perfect time to use her ultimate. If you see a third party and you're about to scream for your life, ash ult to a corner and tell your team to get the heck out of, the, out of that situation. Those are the best two positions that you could use your ash ultimate. Nothing better than using that. Can't wait to see your next ranked guide. Yeah, it's going to come out tomorrow. We're going to cover uh, gold. I appreciate Unknown. It was really great uh, coaching you today. It was really, really a lot of fun. Um, 4K tips. Um, you're going to get more of your 4K damage towards the end of the round, especially in poke damage. Um, don't take it slow at the end. If you want to get a 4K, if you crack somebody twice and they have red armor, I mean, that's 500 damage right there. Like, holy crap. If you, like, completely laser them down almost, you know. Again, if we almost get them down to one. 4K is really easy to obtain if you just shred them. If you crack three different people in the enemy team, they all heal up and heal up again, you're going to get, like, I don't know, anywhere between, like, 700 to 900 damage, depending how much you fry them. That's within, like, you can literally get that damage within, like, 30 seconds, if anything. But, yeah, this was this was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, I'm going to, I got to wrap up. Uh, I do got to go. I appreciate all of you guys for being here. I definitely ran a little over in the stream, but... I, I like coaching. I like doing this stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, but I'll talk to you guys all very soon. I appreciate all of you guys for all your questions. There's definitely a lot of content here on the channel. So if there's something I didn't get to, like you're seeing for Pathfinder tips, I have a, I have a Pathfinder guide. It's all there. I don't want to uh, vamp too much, um, especially because everyone's kind of heading out. But again, I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much again. And I'll see you guys all in the next stream. Love you all.